Oh, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. Today, I'm in my ultra, ultra hardcore survival world, that is to say, hardcore Minecraft, but with no natural regeneration, and also, there are no totems undying, and also, the end is a very weird, wild place, which so far hasn't really affected us because we've been contained in the overworld, but today, it certainly will, because I am going to be making my first steps towards both the never and indeed the end. It is going to be a lot of fun, and you're going to be seeing my next 15 or so days in this ultra hardcore, which all of which has been streamed, by the way, uh, and indeed, I think it looks like we made it basically through an entire day. But yeah, today is going to be all about getting some blaze rods and getting some ender pearls, and then finally finding my stronghold so we can work towards that end. The end is going to be so terrifying, I've never seen what it's like to do an endless end, and I'm going to be doing so for the first time on hard difficulty with one life. If I fall off, it's all over. Over, not just my stuff, but also my entire world. It'll be a lot of fun, but today we're gonna go to sleep and then we're gonna go straight into the nether to work on our next uh, big uh, idea, which is trying to find blaze rods. We have had some very, very poor luck so far, I'm sure you're all aware, but I'm going to double down on my strategy because I mentioned this before, whenever you go towards about 400, 400 on the X and Z coordinates, you end up finding more fortresses. Once you've gone to all four, i.e. 400, 400, 400, negative 400, negative 400, 400, then negative 400, negative 400. Once you've gone to every possible combination of 400s and 400s, then you can start panicking and you can start just tunneling away. But today, I'm fairly sure that we will end that. And uh, so yeah, I've got myself this big tunnel right here. And I'm going to be mining it significantly down in this direction towards 400, no, I guess negative 400, negative 400, uh, because I have tried lots of other directions, but I haven't tried right here yet, something I intend to change. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to fall through the floor, and I'm also going to be very careful because I just, ju I, I think in general, it's a good idea not to die in Minecraft. It's my crazy opinion that uh, you might want to kill me for. But um, yeah, this literally almost killed me, reminding me that I should probably stop. And so uh, <laughs> it's uh, it was an important reminder that like this is a dangerous world. A single skeleton knocked me. I almost fell into the lava, and there's just no surviving that. If you fall this far into a pit of lava, your life is over. There's just there's no other way uh, to think about it. And so I'm hoping to avoid something like that, and also to just get out of this messy biome. Um, by doing so entirely inside caves where possible. At some point, sure, we're going to have to leave and go out on the surface, but until that point, I'm going to be very, very happy uh, just to exist inside where there are no skeletons and indeed no pain. So, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, I I hope that you're all doing wonderfully. I hope everyone who's uh, watching uh, likes the stream. You know, not for me, but do it for you. You know, if you like the stream, you feel like you've basically done your bit, and isn't that the important thing? I mean, uh, don't don't you all want to feel like, oh, so wow, that was the pickaxe down to its last little dredge of durability. Not what I was looking to see. So yeah, there is going to be a skeleton coming in here. We're going to wait for a shot and then finish him off before any more comes to me. And now I'm realizing the downs, the pitfall of my strategy, because this is a terrifying, terrifying place. So we'll make sure, first of all, that we can't be knocked off. Make sure that there's really only... Uh, one bad thing that can happen to me, and that bad thing is just taking a bit of damage. Not ideal, but not death. <laughs> and then we have to either decide to get a new pickaxe, I do have a second one ready, or we have to decide on just running across this thing. Running across it on Ultra Hardcore seems insane, especially when there's a ghast. It, it actually is insane. But realistically, it's just a strategy of uh, managing risk. There are three skeletons that we can see. They're all in one place. If we can just get past them, I can save so much tunneling, so many diamonds, and uh, in a regular world, you would just sprint it if you knew what you were doing. In an ultra hardcore world, we do have to consider a few things here, but I've considered them, and I think we're coming up with just one simple solution. Sit in the corner, craft my bowl of stew, I'm gonna need it, but let's accept, uh, we're at the point where I think we can do it. Also, thank you, Gerald K, Toycat Tax. We ever do an extra ultra, ultra hardcore where you also turn off coordinates as well? Um, that is a fun idea, the coordinateless hardcore, I think, would make things even harder yet. I, a few Mojang staff even do think that, like, really, aren't you kind of cheating um, when you use coordinates? It's an interesting debate within the studio. But, um, yeah, as you can see, right here, I've got the food. In fact, I want to waste my hunger, and so it's just best for me to run across this biome running into as few enemies as possible. If there's three skeletons there, I just have to not get within 20 blocks of them. And if the biome goes all the way to negative 400, negative 400, okay, wait for the shot, and then go. 
And then wait for the shot. And then, okay, no. Okay, see, this looks bad. This looks really bad. And this looks really, really bad. But see, we're out there. Um, it seems awful until it's not. And then you're running and then you... Okay, we're going to get one more hit. That's fine. One more hit is just okay. That is all we took. One heart of damage for all of that. Um, I had to say it, didn't I? Why, why did I have to say it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I finally made my way across it. Later we can make that much safer, but for now we've made it through the biome in a roughly diagonal sense, like I was intending to do. And losing four hearts or three and a half isn't ideal, but now we know the biome, we can probably not lose that in the future. Because again, I'm just trying to head to negative 400, negative 400, which means more blocks this way than anything else. And also we're going to kill this pickaxe, aren't we? The pickaxe is totally dying. I... I think we can- I, I think I'll save the pickaxe by switching out to the non-efficiency one. But still, we are in a dire situation as far as pickaxes go. Just kind of hoping, praying that this leads to something better. I know you're in the middle of a challenge right now, but are you replanning to- Are you planning to redo the mushroom biome run? I like that one. Um, Flapjack, I really liked it too. I'll be honest with you, if I had the world, I would do it in a heartbeat. It's such a bummer that I uh, lost it, huh? Also, I was so worried when I saw no end free that was shorter than the first two. I thought you died. That's the, uh, that, that's one of the fun little side benefits of that. I'll, um, I'll be honest with you, one of my, one of the things I was, like, hoping for is people would love the start of a brand new ultra, ultra hardcore series. But I think I realized, like, um, I, I try to be self-critical. Like, when, when something doesn't do well, I won't just say, oh, yeah, well, it's because people don't get it. They just don't have good tastes. <laughs> I, I, I try to work out, like, okay, so what, what did I do wrong here? I think in this case, it was, like, um, okay, so we're gonna make a big... Neverack path across this biome. Uh, looks scary, but realistically isn't that scary. Uh, we're gonna walk real fast. We're gonna try to avoid blocks like this. And maybe make little pillars up so we've got safety reaccess points. Um, yeah, this is actually entirely fine. This is a good thing that is happening right now. Um, I would recommend when making Neverack paths that you make them like slightly higher or have something below them. Uh, but in this case, it's not necessary. It's just nice. So, getting down there is going to be tricky, so place some blocks maybe is a good idea. And then some more blocks, and there we go. We can get up, we can get down. Can we get across this biome next? I am looking for a fortress, and I am willing to sacrifice some of my health to do so. Um, much more is not okay, but I do have three golden apples. And so we're just going to run for it, chat. We're just going to keep running for it. Is there any sign at 400? Nope. Okay. So we've only got 100 blocks to go, and I see no sign... Of this ending. But it is, you know, it's my... Okay, we can't go this way anymore. It is my duty to keep on trying. Even when the game is begging me not to, basically. Okay, so... Bit of a rock and a hard place situation here. But we're just going to go through this. Okay, we're going to go through right here. And we're going to make a safety point where we can't be hurt anymore. And where gas certainly won't be destroying my life. And then, because we actively have a gas threat, we're going to switch from the Neverack, which I have oh so much of into cobblestone. This is how you explore the nether. When when it gets to stuff like this, you can explore underground and through the world. I'd recommend going through there. But today, I'm going to do the opposite of my recommendation. And I'm going to make a big old stack up right here. Because we're just outside the distance where the gas can attack me, it seems. So I'm going to get down. Yep, get down. And we're safe. Ooh, run around this now. So that later will be very handy. Gotta watch out. Yeah, I can't, I can't really take another direct ghast hit and then something else. Like, ghast hit means I eat a golden apple immediately, um, which means I might take another, another ghast hit. My strategy of getting to negative 400, negative 400 has been a good one on the on paper. In practice, has led me to uh, a dark corner of the never without any real way to get back out of this. So what we can do... Is we can switch back out to Neverack because we're just going down a hill now. Uh, we can make sure there's an easy path up this. Later we'll mine a thing through. And then we can say the oh yeah. Okay, good strategy. But we now have to start thinking about alternate routes. We are basically there. And although we can't see it fully yet, I, I think we can say there's no Never Fortress here. And so it's important to work out like, okay, what is the plan through this? You can bridge across nothing and risk your life. Or we can start going, I guess, a little bit further this way. Um, and then a little bit further that way. Yeah, this is this is a really low render distance 
environment, which makes it quite hard for exploration. But if you want a nether fortress, you do just have to keep on searching. Ideally in the safest places possible. That would be my ideal, that's for sure. Uh, but if you can't find that, then... <laughs> okay, we're going to bridge over there because there's a nice long pathway there. And we're going to ideally make this multiple blocks high because this is terrifying. This is... Oh, yeah, this is... There's so much going on here. Internet. I don't love it. I'm not... I'm not sure. This is my favorite thing. But I'm surviving. Like, notice how it's been so long since I took a hit. Knowing how to avoid common mob hits and knowing how to panic save yourself is really all you need in this situation. Uh, yeah, we've gone here. So now that we haven't found a fortress, uh, we're, we're well past 400, 400. We have to try the next set of uh, coordinates. So we've gone to plus, plus. No, we've gone to plus, minus, I think. So we need to now go plus, plus. Uh, and then once we try plus, plus, we'll see what comes after that. I, I'm going to do a cursory check around here just because I think, you know, uh, just on the off chance, right? Like, you never know. Maybe it was around this corner and I just didn't see it. If we go closer to 400, 400 again. But I think looking at this, you can see that there is a real long way I'm going to have to go to find a fortress. Which is fine. Well, the, the important thing is I am going to be at seven hearts now. I'm going to make another bowl of stew. You have to be very careful when making these. Because you never know when the ghast is going to be activated. And... Uh, yeah, we could bridge out into nothingness, but that's just not smart. So we're going to instead go down where these pillars are. They represent kind of like anchor points. So place a block over here. Place a block over here. And a block over there. And then we're going to place some more points over here. And then we're just going to follow the ground, I guess. <laughs> it's not what you want to say. But it will do the job just fine here. And then... Yeah, by using Neverack blocks will make it really easy to follow our path back home. Ah, no! Okay, yep, see, I'm fine. I'm great chat. That was terrible. That was that was entirely avoidable, too. That's the worst bit about that one. Um, now I'm going to use my Golden Hearts first, which was... I could have done that a little bit faster. But we're fine. See, the, the regen, it kicked in. It gave me the extra healing. I've got some spare hearts now. And I need to find this fortress. I can't wait forever on it. And we can't find it via the overworld. There is no fortress, though. GG. I have done my best. You know, I, I keep thinking, like, maybe if I just go a little bit more, maybe I'll find some sign of it. But I have not. Oh, but I have. Okay, that's something. I have not. Okay, that's ridiculous. That is not my closest fortress. That has got to be, like, the second or the third closest fortress. Um, is this worth going all the way for, chat? I, I'm going to have to store those coordinates. It's about minus 550, minus 400, I'd say. Um... What can I do about that? How am I going to make it there? I'm going to have to, like, mine through this whole biome. Ooh. Also, make sure to cat notes get viruses from piglins. It doesn't matter whose message he reads. Yeah, that was actually... It's on my to-do list for fighting the... Oh! Oh! It's on my to-do list for fighting the uh, fortress. Is I need to get that locked down. Um, this is terrifying, by the way. There is a magma cube behind me. That was magma. That wasn't a cube. Um, so we're going to make a... Big crossing point over here. Um, is this safe? Not really. Am I doing it anyway? For some reason, it seems as though. Oh no 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 no. I'm fine though. I'll just I'll run till the gas despawns, and then I'll just run back. And if I use up too much hunger, good. I've got the suspicious stew here. Okay. Um, this is why you need fire resistance, says Caitlin Smith. Also, minus 550, minus 400 Never Fortress, says uh, David. Thank you. I, the, uh, I, I appreciate the, the storing of... It's, the, it's, it's nice. You know, usually when you play solo Minecraft, you have to write this stuff down yourself. One of the nicest things about having a stream chat is uh, having people like David, um, who are here to help and making their contribution to the effort. It's, it seems as though this is actually something through here. I could make my tunnels now. Okay, you know what, chat? I want to get back home. But back home is scary. No, 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 that's dumb. I'm going to go back home. I'm <laughs> it's much more dangerous to stay in the nether with four and a half hearts. Is that four and a half or five and a half? Don't think it makes a big difference to my overall uh, survivability, to be honest. Um, so let's get back. Let's get out of here. And let's just run along the previous neverack blocks. We'll place an extra set. That way we can't be immediately destroyed. It's just a, just a security policy, right? Um, 
The whole extra set of blocks. The odds of them both being destroyed seems really low. And now we're going to run this way a bunch. Um, maybe place a few more blocks for a staircase. I'm not even sure. At this point, if we get ghasted, we're in for a bit of a bit of a nasty surprise. But that's a problem for future me. Current me is just dealing with what is ahead. And what is ahead has been solved. There we go. Perfectly level, by the way. Very nice, that is. Um, and now we have to get back to our previous point. There's just so much never between my current portal and here. And there's not even a really easy way to solve that, is there? Oh! Okay, so there's a gas behind me. Not my goal, really, ever. Uh, so now we're gonna run through... So there's only some places we can go through the terrain. This is one of them. So if we just kind of come right through here, we'll be fine. Um... And then we want to kind of go diagonally as well as up, I think. Yeah, diagonally and up is counterintuitive, but true. So we're going to make a big tunnel to do precisely that. Um, and then when we get back to the base salt delta, we'll place some more of these blocks. And so on and so forth. <laughs> My heart was in his mouth when he did those lava jumps, says Ezra Morgan. <laughs> Always the girl. Um, no, I, I, liked, I, I do actually think I'm relatively safe when I do some of these things. Um, that's one of the cool things about playing enough Minecraft, is you start to realize the risks you can and cannot take. And I like to believe that I'm fairly well aware of the acceptable risks at this point. But that's just a belief. Honestly, everything is belief at some point, right? Um, I have LEGO Minecraft, uh, Never Diorama using five sets. Even have a Neverack bridge over the lava. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so interesting to me because for so many people... Back when I first got into Minecraft, people were saying, yeah, Minecraft has killed LEGO. The fascinating thing, the absolutely fascinating thing, is that that isn't true. And instead, also, has it been a whole day? Yeah, I think it must have been, right? Um, the fascinating thing is that that is not true. And instead, it's kind of the opposite, right? Like, um, yeah, I think, I think we've gone for a whole day now. Um, yeah, it seems as though Minecraft has provided LEGO a new lease on life. People go, yeah, Lego's dumb, but actually it's kind of like Minecraft, so I like it. Which is very much not what I would have expected. Um, but, you know, lots of things that you don't expect happen. Also, we've gone way too high up. We didn't want to go this high. Um, so, whoops. We'll probably just go a bunch this way now. And then hope we end up at the right point. There's a chance we have to dig down from here, but it shouldn't be a big deal. It is scary to be mining in the Never, by the way. You never know when a random block of lava is going to take you out. But it's fine. It's fine. Oh, <laughs> I said you never know, but apparently I know. And goodbye, blocks. Okay, continue mining forwards. Now that we've found one lava, we're not going to find another. We're entirely safe from the concept. And now we just got to get back to that cave we were in before. Not cave, like big open basalt area. Okay. Apparently, that's not true that you only find one. See, so yeah, we're going to mine down, even though I don't want to necessarily. And, okay, we're in another cave. But this one does lead to the basalt. Okay, leads above the basalt, which is unexpected. But we can we can make it work. Uh, so we'll mine a bunch of these blocks here, and then later make a bridge up. But for now, we just have to work out a way down. Uh, that means finding a pillar or finding anything like that. Or we can just use a hay bale to pull down onto. Yeah, let's use a hay bale, pull down onto it. That might be death if I mess that up, actually. I don't... I try to avoid things where if I do it wrong, I die. Okay. You know, some would say things where if you do them wrong and you die are the whole fun of life. I would say, yeah, that's also true. Um... But it doesn't mean I want to. Uh, it's got to be enough of a reward, right? Okay, that's that ghast is not. The moment I fall, it's going to go badly, right? That's the messy thing about this. So I have to fall down. Also, it's definitely been a new day. Um, we can confirm in the overworld, but we've survived another day, internet. A full never day. I've always described Minecraft as Lego about the mess, as a poly. -E. Yeah, th that's that's the weird bit to me. Is like it's Lego about the mess. And you don't... Imagine if Minecraft was like, you have used your 100 blocks for the day. Please make sure you use a microtransaction to continue. You would... People would be outraged. But Lego's like, yeah, you, you buy... 
you buy a set specifically to do one thing, and then if you want to use it for other stuff, we kind of set it up so that it doesn't really do a good job. Also, yeah, I think we should have just gone up here the whole time. This is awful, though. I am very terrified for my life. Um, okay, so the magma cube's gonna follow me here, and then what is my plan? The answer is that I do not have one, and I am very, very trapped. But that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna heal up again. Could do with doing a lot of this. That's for sure. Make another mushroom stew real quick. So mushroom stew, and then oh, we picked up some block string that I think, and then go ahead and just mine out to the biome in another place where the where the magma cube can't see me. I'm gonna have so many random blocks in my inventory after this, but the price that you pay for freedom is often a messy inventory. Okay, there we go. Yeah, easy, perfect. No problem whatsoever. So now we run through once more, avoiding that magma cube, perfect. Avoid this magma cube, picking up a red mushroom on the way, of course, perfect. Um, yep, just run across this. There's gonna be no issues whatsoever. Run across this, no issues whatsoever. There is lava below me, so I'm just a tiny bit terrified, actually. Um, we have to connect this with that, which should be easy enough to do, right? Just start placing some blocks up. Yep, very simple. And then make sure these two stacks connect. Yeah, there, there we go. We have now worked out a slightly more efficient way across this biome. It needs a lot of work, sure. But doesn't everything need a bit of work? Once you really boil down to it. And then if we continue this everywhere, we can avoid more and more lava pits. And also just make use of Nevrak, which we have by the, by the silly amount, right? Oh, okay. That is fine. A half heart. I don't, think, I don't think I even took a half heart there. I think it just made my hunger bar flash. Um, or it dealt a full heart and I just didn't notice. But I think... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine, chat. Everything is fine. Whew. Um. So yeah, we found another fortress. It just is a big drain of my livelihood to go there. But that is progress, technically speaking. It is a type of progress. Um... So we'll get back to the overworld, making sure it's safe. And then we're going to trade with some piglins to get a single fire resistant. Oh, oh my god, Ch chat. <laughs> oh my god. How did I not? This is the most ridiculous. Ah, oh my god. Why? What the? I, I, I mean, I did call it. I did say there's no way that's my closest never fortress. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I went for so much. So much of that, and there was no need, apparently. Okay, well, the good news is I can kill that blaze right now, right? No questions. Um, um, okay, blaze rod, got him. Or oh, it's not quite gotten yet. I have to do inventory management. But otherwise, blaze rod is a go. Yeah, new recipe unlocked. Um, that is crazy. What are the odds of that happening? Look at this. I literally, I st if I had just mined two blocks down or something... I would have just done the tiniest amount of digging down. I would have found myself some, some never brick. But I didn't do that. Just, it's right here. That's blowing my mind. <laughs> As a fun reminder, um, you know, this is the fun thing about live experiences. You make, you make silly mistakes. And I like that there are people out there that can appreciate how much of my, how long I spent chasing something that wasn't real. Also, um, I I think that that's that's fun. I think that's that's silly, but that's fun. And I'm gonna take a little drink. You were above it the whole time, exactly dazed and confused. I found I already had a Never Fortress. I just didn't know. To be fair, this one is still like a little bit of doing to get to from spawn. Uh, it's not like easy peasy. It's just uh, on the easy peasy spectrum. It, okay, so we're gonna make a little close off on both sides just to make it clear that this is the correct way and Also make it so there are fewer Like I, I want future me to have no confusion that this is the right way to go So we're gonna put a lot of Nevrak down pro tip base alt delta you see you see Nevrak, you know that was past you But second pro tip, okay, so there's gonna be very few places to fall into lava but then also there's going to be this tunnel, and we can go through that anytime we need to. Thankfully, because we've got a Never Fortress to go to, 
We can just whenever we need to. So I'm going to cut this corner here. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to the Never Fortress. Kill a Blaze. I want... No, without Fire Resistance, I think trying to fight Blazes. Fire Resistance and maybe even a Bucket of Milk. Like, if I get Withered and Burnt, I think I'm dying no matter what. So we just walk that way. We come back and the Magma Cube is gone. Because, uh, like, despawn radiuses are ridiculously tiny in the Never. Um, like, as soon as you stop looking at something, it's basically gone. So now we have to make a path across this. That's going to be the hardest bit, actually. So maybe we take the more dangerous looking route across those things. Because at least the crazy looking route across there. No, no, we have to go. Oh, God, okay. We have to go. Okay, this is bad. I hate, I hate soul sand valleys. While Minecraft is as bugged as it is with never spawning, they just aren't going to work. Okay, so we're just going to get away. We're just going to get away. Run. Okay, so... This is ridiculous. Okay, okay. I don't know what to do about this, honestly. We make a little, little hidey hole here. And then... Then what? I guess we... Yep, no idea, chat. Getting back home without dying to skeletons is something that's beyond me right now. Um, there are too many of them, and the longer I leave this, the more are going to spawn. So I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to let it all despawn. I'm going to try again. This is this is a valid strategy. And when your life depends on it, you have to. Also, gapple and run. <laughs> Not a terrible overall strategy. So we'll just mine a few more blocks here. We've got the inventory space. If we find some nether quartz, we could go for that too, but not so crucial. And now, just by being this far away from the soul sand valley, everything in it has already despawned. And it's going to respawn as we run through, which is surprisingly convenient as a concept. But yeah, for now, let's pick up all of the lovely XP, all of the lovely quartz. And let's see if we can't get ourselves out of there without dying. Oof, scary. So, yeah, the Suspicious Stew will bring me back up, at least, to my previous health. And if we do a good job with making another, another Suspicious Stew, then we'll be able to... Oh, actually, Regen Potion. Yeah, I, I think this is a Regen Potion situation, not a Suspicious Stew, but permanent. So I drink the Regen, and then I run through, and then I get some gold to do some trading with. Yeah, it feels like there's a middleman in there unnecessarily. But let's do it. Let's, we're going to run through the biome. Uh, we're just going to run through and we're going to make blocks to... Oh, no! Okay. Okay, so we just want to do one of these sorts of things. Make a breadcrumb trail while avoiding skeletons, while avoiding gas. There's that... I don't... I, there's no There's no challenge in this whatsoever, of course. When you're a true MLG pro, you don't need to think about these sorts of problems. They just kind of get solved. Oh, no! It's going to be close. Okay, so we're fine. Okay, where is it? I, I don't even know at this point. I know it was down here, I want to say. Um, I know it was down here, I want to say. It's very reassuring. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Drink the regen. I can't survive any more of these. Okay. I'm, I'm finishing the ghast. Hopefully, that's the only one that cares. Yes, it is. Whew. So that regen potion probably saved my life. All things considered. Um, and it just about... Got me... Yeah, there we go. That's that's something, right? And here we go. That is the way out. So we have to make this bigger and more obvious, I think. I'm not sure how to do that, necessarily. But it is what we have to do. And then I'm also going to place some torches down. I still don't know to this day how lighting works in the nether. Because if it worked how you expected it to, then you wouldn't find mobs where you find them. But on the off chance it works, we'll do that. So we got through, we got our full health. We just now have to do a... Oh god, there's a skeleton in the tunnel. Go. Perfect. Um, so now we just have... That, that's really annoying that he can spawn in here, by the way. We might have to remove the soft sand. Because that that is a potential life ender. After a big trip, it's not what you need. And um, as a person living in Texas, I feel obligated to vote for the armadillo, says Rose Pendigal. <laughs> it's funny the... Um, it's funny the breadth that the mob vote spans in the community. You'll find people who never get engaged in Minecraft news or anything else. 
being like, I have very strong opinions about what should be added. And I kind of like that. It's like, a, it's one of the few things that brings us together is talking about how much we despise other people's decisions about what's bringing us together. But you know, some of the beauty, right? Some of the beauty. Anyway, so now I'm going to put my cobblestone slabs away, at least two half stacks of them. Um, I'm going to keep one stack out because it seems useful. But I'm going to keep all of this in the chest. Oh, this is the wrong chest. Um, I'm going to put all of this in the top chest, as you can see. Very lovely never supplies now. I could do some fun things if I wanted to. And um, I guess we'll put our quartz down here, by the way. Just, just make, some, make some nice stacks. And then I'm going to just, again, with the most freed up slots that I humanly can have, I'm going to go on a, on a fortress run. Um, I guess I can even put this away now. I'm going to bring a second regen potion. And I'm going to try and use as much of my gold as I feel like parting with to do a piglin trading run. Waiting until you were out of the nether, ha ha smile. Hey, thank you, Chris H. Uh, by the way, Chris H, our, our lord and benefactor for this stream, uh, for this stream series. Because as we all know, uh, it, you, Chris H is not only uh, tipped for the sake of being kind, or not only tipped and being kind, but also has tipped enough for the... Wheel of Toy Cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's way off to the side. The Wheel of Toy Cat, which will not be falling over and ruining my day today. So yeah, the more we put it at an angle, I think the better you can see it, and the less I'm likely to hit it. There we go, look at this, look at this. And now you can see way more of the wheel too. It's amazing. There's two yellow segments on the wheel. When you tip $10, you get to spin it. And if it lands on yellow, you get a sign in the Toy Cat world. Will Chris H get another one? Almost, apparently. Um, by the way, this is uh, the end of the day. I think I'm going to throw away my spare pickaxe too. Also, by the way, 68 days have officially been survived. I, uh, I, I like that this is building. I'm looking forward to seeing this world as we make the progress. Really take it different places. But yeah, let's put this in there. Later we can come back for that. But for now, it's fine how it is. And um, yeah, we're going to do some trading with a... You, you know, one of those guys. And we're going to eat one pork chop at some point. Is now that time? Now could be the time. So I'm going to trade with some piglins. Do the best that I can to get a fire resistance. And then use the fire resistance to take down a fortress to get a blaze. That seems to be the best shot. First time I didn't get yellow. Yeah, Chris Chris H has had the most insane luck. You know, you know, statistically, like gambling is bad because a lot of people gamble away their livelihoods. But some people gamble, and every time they do it, like, you know, forty-seven percent of people win at the casino. Like, it's a a little under half. Um, and so, you know, for every for every person out there who spins seven times and gets nothing, there's someone who spins seven times and gets it every time. As far as they're concerned, they've got a magic money machine. I, uh, my, uh, you know, just to share a tiny bit of personal information, internet. My, like, biological father, uh, like, uh, the, the person who, who, whose, whose DNA is inside of me, um, <laughs> is, um, I, I remember once, like, when I first met him, like, I had no idea what to think of him. But he's like, yeah, I've always got this, like, backup whenever, whenever it comes to it. I've got, like, a system that lets me beat the casino. And I was like, oh no, is, is, but what that means is whenever things get bad, I bet money at the casino and then it happens to have worked out so far. But it's cool, you know, even, even real people that I know, um, think that that is a valid strategy. Um, yeah, and so I think that's fun. I think that's, that's real goofy. Um, I think, pro tip, do not, do not make financial decisions, uh, based on such a system existing. Because I can promise you it will not. Um, whose DNA is what? You know, don't we all have a bit of DNA inside of us? Somewhere. Just waiting to get out. Okay, so there is a piglin down here. But he's only one of them. I don't really like trading so slowly. But he might be our best shot as far as a piglin goes. Yeah, I think I killed most of the piglin brutes though. So we just look around. Make sure. You seen anything else? Yeah, it might it might just be your one guy down. Oh, is he gone? Did you see him? Where'd he go? There was that. Okay, there he is. He's in that little corner. So we're gonna have to get back down there. 
And we're just gonna trade slowly with the first piglin we saw, which is this man. It might seem dangerous to do it near lava, but we'll just like set it up smart, right? Like uh, have a have an area over here where there is no lava. Maybe a nice big area. And then lure him over. Okay, do you think they'll walk over logically, like around that? Or he's gonna walk into lava to get to me? You see it? Okay, so he does walk round. That's, that's good to know. And then, yeah, we'll just place a few blocks around the piglin. Just make sure that no matter what happens, that we get the drop. That's all that matters. I'll give him as much of this as he feels like he needs. I'm hoping half is good. But the important thing is that he doesn't burn things in lava. So we make a lovely, lovely set of these. There we go. We're all good. Happy Wednesday, smile. Hey, Emily! Thank you so much for the tip. If you haven't been following the stream series, you know, I'll assume you have. But just in case anyone hasn't been... Hey, Enderpose! Whoa, four... What? That is some good odds. Every time I get bad RNG, it's been countered by this today. I went to the casino and I won. <laughs> the Piglin Casino has played out well. But Emily, thank you so much for saying happy Wednesday. Just in case you're... Hey, and we got fire resistance too. In case you're new to this stream series, when you tip $10, Willa Toy Cat gives you a chance of getting a sign permanently in the world. Let's spin it. Oh. 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 You're one segment away. You're on the invisible segment, as opposed to the yellow segment. But thank you, Emily. Good to see you. I, I love to love to see an old, friendly, familiar name here. So yeah, we got some never bricks, which I don't think I'm gonna use. I think you mix them with never warts, actually, you make red never bricks. So maybe I'll use those at that point. But we're just gonna make the last of the trades that we really care about. We might get some ender pearls. Uh, or, you know, arrows are good too. I'll take some arrows. Um, and then once we're done trading with him, as indeed it looks like we are. Hey, some string. Okay, so that's really, really good, actually. I didn't have string. I was worried about how I was going to make, you know, like, I, it, was, it was a concern. Now we've got string. The world is sorted. Anyway, uh, oh, hello, friends. <laughs> I'm uh, not used to not being terrified of you. Oh, God, okay, that's why. That's the reason why. You are the reason I have to be terrified. Where did he come from? Am I safe from him? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I guess now I can survive a fall into lava now that I've got a fire res. So my plan is to make my own fire resistance potions later, by the way. Using the never sourced ingredients, by the way. But for now, yeah, this does the job. I don't think two fire charges is useful when I have a flint and steel. I'm gonna throw it away. 50 iron ingots. Iron nuggets is gonna be five iron ingots. I guess I'll keep it in its current form and let- No, I'll keep- Oh, okay, okay. So here's the- Let me explain to you my reason for making five iron ingots and then throwing away some nuggets right now. I could just take this all back with me to the overworld. That would make some sense. Yes, internet. I do agree. However, um, if we make five, uh, and then- You know what? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm fine. Everything's good. There are no problems. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, the, bi the the reason is I want to have a stackable set of items when I go to the Nether Fortress. This is the easiest way to guarantee that. But I think going back to the Overworld just to store some stuff means I can take more things from the Fortress. And also it means I can get my Night of Sleep in. Because it is especially hard to get Nights of Sleep um, during this. So just you know, something to watch out for. Because you can see, like, yeah, we've already used up 60% of our day. We've been there a full, a, a large amount of time. Be a real problem. Okay, so I want to talk about voting a little bit, Internet. Because uh, I've got lots of people in chat saying Team Possum, Team Armadillo. You know, like, people people got strong opinions. I want to say there's a really... The, the thing about voting that's so cool, the fact that it brings people together, is, like, yeah. Um, one of the few times we really are all, like, on the same page about something is when we're all on opposite pages about something. Also, six ender pearls. We are really close to... We're gonna have a good time, go some places. But, um, yeah, I think I think it's such an interesting uh, thing that humanity is, like, um, most... You know, like we, we have all these underlying uh, issues that we basically try to suppress. And most of the time, that's a good idea, in my humble opinion. Like, um, like we have more in common than we have different. So let's let's talk about what we have in common. 
However, occasionally, it's important that, you know, for things that are big and directional, that we have these big conversations. And in general, most people don't talk about or think about Minecraft game design. They just say, yeah, it's kind of lazy. Or they say, yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's going well. I liked the last update. Looking forward to the next one. Uh, you know, like, uh, kind of on the server's opinions, which are just fine. But I think the, in the same way that, like, good criticism is better than bad criticism, good praise is better than bad praise. Bad praise is saying, I like this. This is good. Bad praise is, uh, uh, you know, good praise is saying, I really like uh, the fact that the crab claw is going to allow builders uh, to, you know, take things to a whole new level. I really like, you know, like uh, having uh, those stronger opinions that way. That is something that is actually valuable. Also, yeah, I think we're going to remove the block below this as well. Just because having something, having the warp wood down there really adds a lot to the, the base of this. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this uh, kind of around the place, like especially over here. And then also remove some of the blocks on this side just to make it a little bit rounder feeling. But yeah, well, like I was saying, um, one of the things that I... Uh, always nice to have a little project to get some, some work done here, by the way. Um... I guess we have to remove a lot of this. You know, we, we'll, we'll call that like quits for as far as removing dirt goes. One of the, um, one of the things that is so interesting uh, about good feedback is that is actually what allows people to make better things. It's being like, oh yeah, this is actually really good and you should do more uh, versus like the end product is wonderful. There are so many things where I, I don't know if I could tell you why I like them. Like I, I'm really bad at music. This is something that comes up every time I try to work on a song I'm like I don't I genuinely don't understand musical theory right like do you sing on the notes do the notes back you up do you deliberately switch between being on note and off note what even is a note I can't actually maybe I'm like slightly tone deaf I can tell the difference between notes when you say like okay, let, me, let me show you some note stuff chat if you if you if you told me to look at notes and said yeah so when you ding this that's a different note to this one right but like the fact that some people can tell each of these things apart like that's different to that, to that, to that. Like, it's like, oh no, that's that's insanity to me. And again, you can see eventually, but like individual two note comparisons are hard. Anyway, so point is, um, is uh, I don't know music. So I, I can, when I like a song, I just go, yeah, it sounds good. But like, if you're a musician and you hear, yeah, it sounds good. It's like, yeah, I hope so. But like, Surely you like the hours I put into making sure this word rhymed with that word. By the way, look how many days we survived. No matter what happens today, chat, I just want you to know I'm having a nice survival. By the way, um, some her her helps I'm doing desert well. I am doing very desert well. I missed your comment. Uh, I missed your username just now, but I appreciate it a lot. Uh, time to sing for the savannah, says Dazed and Confused. You should vote for the savannah. It's gonna take some time to get these things we never had in Minecraft. Um, okay, so we're gonna go down here. We're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. Can't add, also nice says David, well, no, sorry, can't add crab because it would be cruelty. I think it's interesting because all three of the mobs will be cruelty, especially the penguin and its beak, right? Like, I know the penguin isn't gonna have to be killed for the beak, but it sure seems that nice. way, doesn't it? Hey, David Solomano, your first spin of the wheel to represent 69 days. I'm going to say that you're going to get the 69th segment on the wheel, which is sign in the world. Hey, congrats. Um, you know, the most, one of the most worthy of the sign, I think. Okay, so we need to get back to the Nether Fortress in as little time as possible. The more time we take, the more mobs spawn, which means the more pain, which is bad. Hot take. Um, the more stuff we... Yeah, okay, we're, just, we're getting there, we're getting there. This is fine. This is great. It's happening. Everything's great. Uh, I'm just going to run into the skeleton and kill him. Oh, that, that actually works as a strategy. Then we're going to run left. Run into the ghast. <laughs> and then, is this is this the area? No, it's over there. So we need to make sure we got some slabs leading this way. Just to make sure it's extra clear, in case everything else wasn't enough. And now it is time... To do the fortress. I am very terrified, chat. And I've got good reason to be. But I have got this spare slot for a suspicious stew. I am going to have a fire resistance potion. And I'm going to have a regen potion. And I'm going to have a golden apple. 
And I've got a decently enchanted sword. Sharpness free, it's like, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. I I have lots of reasons to believe I'll be fine. But also I am terrified. So I just 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 keep it in mind. Hey, that's awesome, David. I agree. I uh you know one of the one of my favorite things is this little sign collection we have. I, I'm a big believer in the whole like thank your benefactor system. Like it's fun for both parties if you do it correctly. So we're gonna make this a hard way out. Maybe I'll regret that in the future. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. So they do use just swords, which is nice. I can prevent that from being a problem quite easily. Oh, okay. So just let him whack off the shield and then bounce. And then let's go. Um, so again, I've got this whole suspicious stew that's ready to eat. That is a guy over there. That's fine. Um, just going to place this in there and that in there. Are we still fine? Yes, we are. Going to grab the never warts and the saddle. I really want a saddle right now. Okay. So that is okay. I think I'm going to drink the... No, I'm not going to drink the fire resistance yet. Okay, I'm going to drink the fire resistance now, I think. Okay, so... Um, okay, chat, I'm terrified for my life. I am... I'm going to die. I'm going to die real soon. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so the good news is I'm not dead. Bad news is maybe not for long. So, okay, we're fine. We're fine. So that was a kind of panic place. But as you can see, I just have to do the same thing. Kind of like that. Now I can crouch under if I want to. And if I have to run under it, I've got a way to do that. Wonderful. And so we'll do the same over here. Just crouch, crouch, not crouch. And then I'm also going to finally get that flint and steel. Replace it my current one, which is slightly aged. Doesn't make a big difference, but you might as well do these things when you're running through these places. And let's go for the ma for the for the blaze. Okay, that's another blaze. I'm going to have to just fire resistance. No other way around that, honestly. Um, yeah, when you got this much going on. Oh, it went through. It broke. It broke. Oh no. Oh god. 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 Um. Okay, so that's a lot. That's a lot more than I was expecting. I don't even know. I I swear it was on pretty good durability recently. But my definition of recently is clearly outdated. I think we're going to go for the regen. I do have some spares, thankfully. Um, thank, you know, that that is something I can uh, be thankful of. And then I can keep the this in reserve as the, as the oh god last minute sort of thing. Which is fine. And now we have to use, make sure we make the most of our fire resistance. Bad idea. Crouch is slow. Like I said, I, I can make it through the open gates when I need to. But uh, it's just a nice option to have for now. Oh, it's so many it's so many wither skeletons. That's the annoying thing. Okay, he can't get through that. Uh, not having a shield is bad. I would like to have a shield, please. If you could, If you could offer me one, Minecraft... That would be swell. Oh, man. This is such bad chest loot, too. So we could just go to the part of the fortress that has the spawners. We know we'll find it if we go eventually. Actually, wait. Is is this the smallest never fortress ever? Oh, no. There's something on this other side. I thought that was the end. I was going to say, it would be one of the weirdest fortresses. But also not entirely unprecedented, right? Oh, we're going to place a block quickly. <laughs> okay. So we'll use the stone sword. Just because I've got it and I don't mind spamming it. Okay. We have to check behind us. Make sure nothing's coming that I'm not expecting. Okay. Nothing's over there. This is weird, by the way. Why Why does Why does it do that sometimes? We're going to take all of these and then we're going to get out of the resulting mess. And then we're going to pick up some... Or use the Neverack and fill in the rest of these because that's terrifying. Oh, I can swim in the lava. It's not actually a big deal. Okay. Coming through here. I'm just looking for blazes. I just really need to find those blazers. I've got very little fire resistance time. And I've got to maximize it. Where are you, blazers? Okay, there's gold there. Once the once the fire resist runs out, which is fairly soon, by the way. That's 38 seconds. Um, I do run into some issues. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's just... Let's let the... Go for it. Okay. So there's two skeletons. We can just let them, let them go. It's fine. Get out of there, sit under this, whichever side is safer, <laughs> and then eat to get past that. Yeah, look at this. We we have the healing that we need for the situation uh, in the form of the magic suspicious stew and the regen potions. So that is nice. Honestly, suspicious stew has made this 
a little bit easier than it's been in the past. But it's still a fun challenge regardless. We've got a second saddle, which we're going to need because we're not going to be doing any pillager raids. And, uh, yeah, okay. Jump across, jump across. Or do you reckon, I reckon things are going to be great. Ooh. Um, this is um, a bit of a dicier situation than I hoped for. But we have got free blaze rods. We, we've gone halfway there. And we're not even living on a prayer yet. So, um, oh, wow. He got me really around that corner. Wasn't expecting it, to be honest with you. So we'll do the same thing we kind of did before there. We'll just make a few of these around the place. Make it as safe as possible for me to walk through. That's the that's the way to the outside of the fortress, which funnily enough is inside. If I go through here, I'm going to find spawners. This is where it would have been a good idea to have that uh, fire resistance potion. I used it for basically nothing. I preempted it. This is where it would have been required. That This exact situation right here... Um, Okay, this is the this is the reason. This is this is oh god. This right here is why you need it. <laughs> um God, that's terrifying. Um so we'll we'll kill things still. We'll get our fourth blaze rod. Just two more to go now, chat. Um so we'll let oh god, we're so close to the to the spawner. It's gonna cause me issues. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. Yeah, six! Okay. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, we just... Oh, no, from behind. I don't know. Okay, it was a skeleton. Um, that is about my risk tolerance exceeded right now. Um, HPT, thoughts on the crab and the armadillo? Uh, so far, the crab has got my vote. So, yeah, they've uh, they've announced only two of the three mobs officially so far. And um, I, I... The the crab and the armadillo mobs themselves, if they announced it like previous years, where they're like... Ah, yes, we have a crab. It is very useful uh, because it does crab things. Uh, and then they're like, ah, yes, we have uh, an armadillo. He likes to curl up in a bowl sometimes. Um, if they announced it like previous years, I'd be a little bit pessimistic. Oh, God, there's so many. There's too many. Um, I think I'd be feeling a bit like the crab is cooler, but I want the armadillo slightly more on the bear based mob facts. Um, regarding the other things... Oh, no! Bad idea. But I made it. I made it, chat. I, that's what matters. There's no points for second. Okay, we're just gonna let him come around here. Um, so, with regards to, um, the items, I do not care about wolf armor. I, I would like to tell you that I'm excited to dress up my dogs and say, Oh, look, Schmookums get the best armor. And little Timmy over here... He has the red armor. But, um, it is not something I have any interest in. I can acknowledge it's a popular Minecraft feature that will get lots and lots of votes. While also saying that I think it is <laughs> one of the least necessary things in Minecraft. If they add wolf armor to the game, to me that is proof that when they say that we, ha we spend, like, you know, like most of our time doing game design, that will be proof that that is not true. Because wolf armor is not interesting or, like, that horse armor is one of the biggest, like, one of the more flawed parts of Minecraft as it stands right now. It's one of the least developed systems. And so they're like, yeah, what if we added horse armor, but for dogs? And it's like, but what? It'd be like saying, what if we added Bane of Arthropods to the shovel? It's like, that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't do anything interesting for me. Like, you need to, horse armor is not an interesting mechanic. And so adding it, uh, you, you can't make it more interesting uh, just by putting it there. That, that's just my crazy, crazy take. I know you're saying wolf farmer, but I'm hearing wolf farmer. Oh, wolf farmer and wolf farmer. Wolf farmer and wolf armor. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I personally think that the reach claw is not an item that I would use all the time. But would be really fun when I was using it. Whereas I can say for sure the amount I'll use the uh, the wolf farmer, or the wolf farmer indeed, uh, is, is next to none. That's not to say that it's worthless, it's just to say it's worthless adjacent. By the way, as you can see, we are now back in the overworld 
at the end. So we have, we finally escaped our UHC Stay 69 curse because this is me having survived 70 days. Yeah. So the thing that um I this is always the this is the classic point in the mob vote every year where two of the mobs have been revealed, but the third one hasn't been yet. And we get to have this big debate together about like, okay, so what now? Uh, is the third mob going to be the one that sways it? Or is it one of the first two? Again, between the first two to me, the crab claw has a little bit of an edge in terms of what I like. Um, but the armadillo as a mob, I think is slightly more interesting just because I like Savannah. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to claim that I have the greatest reasons. I just think the Savannah is a slightly better biome. And so, um... Also, yeah, we are going to... I hate you guys. Why do you Why do you trick me? <laughs> they just... They make silly noises all day. I think it must be a bug, actually. They're only meant to do it when they hear the hostile mob. I think they're just doing it randomly to mess with me. So, um... Yeah, that plan is now I'm going to make some... I'm going to use some soul sand. We've got 47 of it. And we're going to make a never wart farm. Uh, do I have never warts already? I have seven never warts, so it's going to take me a while to grow a decent amount. And the never wart farm is going to be just down here, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. We'll do it on this side of this man's house. Um, and the never wart farm doesn't really need any, like, real justification for existing. Or, like, perfect explanation. It's just going to be a bunch of blocks sat down in a gap that exists. And, uh, yeah, I, I think having, like, four farms, one on each side of this man's house, is a nice idea. By the way, speaking of nice ideas, David Solomano is officially the newest name to be added to the signs. I, uh, I haven't considered what happens when we max out the signs. Maybe they should all be individual signs. What do you reckon, chat? Also, I agree with every word that's coming out of your mouth, says HPT. I, I really do think, um, that every, every year we kind of... We have a, there's an item that Minecraft knows is more loved by the community. And I think they knew what they were doing with dog armor. If it turns out that that is not, like again, if the penguin beak is a compelling option, I will believe that they actually don't know and they're just picking, they're throwing three things out there they think would be cool. If tomorrow, if, if tomorrow's option comes out and it's worthless or worthless adjacent, um, I do believe that they pick a mob each year, they kind of favor. Because last year the sniffer was so head and shoulders above the other mobs in terms of like what people felt about it. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna start questioning democracy, okay? Right now I'm not at the questioning democracy phase. Uh, you know, I'm not even just asking questions. But uh, maybe maybe soon I will be. De um, also David Solomano, woohoo. See, this is the fun thing, right? No matter what happens in real life to you, David, you're uh You'll forever be in this Minecraft world. You you could get you could you could be in get you could go on a wood chip grinder tomorrow, and yet your name would remain here. Till I guess you know your name remains in other places. I assume too. Um, <laughs> you know actually, oh, but this is obviously the most important. I guess is what I'm saying. Also, wow, the Neverwart is growing fast. It's annoying to me that you can't bone mill Neverwart. It always feels incorrect as a fact, but it is true. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got ourselves all the blaze powder we can want in the world, plus a spare blaze rod to make, uh, some stuff with. So we'll just make ten for now. It's always a safe bet. I do want to have a brewing stand, but we can steal one of those from a village. And then we're going to take our six ender pearls, and we're going to do something fun, chat. We're going to make eye offenders. We're officially going to the end, or thereabout at least. We need wither bones and bone meal for never warts. You know, wither bones, now that's an idea I can get down with. I I think that, yeah, having like a... Okay, I... There's an interesting gameplay thing that Minecraft is doing with the with the second skew, right? There's a really interesting discussion in my mind to be had about are there too many items that work basically in parallel and clutter up the Minecraft inventory? And uh, I think the answer is a no, but yes, right? Okay, so... When you're gonna throw your first eye bender, I always recommend don't be too close to a mountain. It might get lost in there. Try and pick the flattest surface that you can so you can see the exact direction that it goes. I I think, oh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, if you say so, Minecraft, if you say so. Um, 
we're just drinking it. We'll get one of them. No, one of these gone. There's there's no harm for me for a while. Um, so yeah, we go into a nice flat area. We pick a nice round set of coordinates, 880, 310, and we throw upwards, and then we measure where it goes from there. So from 880, 310, it goes to 870, 305. That is 10 blocks to the that way for one block to the that way. So it's like minus 10 to minus 5. Wait, what? Oh, I typed in a slash. <laughs> minus 10 to minus 5. And so using those, um, using that, that information, we work out for every 10 blocks we go this way, we go roughly 5 blocks this way. It's a very rough ratio, you never end up exactly where you want with it. But um, by doing this, and obviously not all at the same time, you can work out some stuff. So for, if we wanted to go down to 0 on the x, we'd go down to negative 200 on the z. And so that is, I think, going to be the plan. We've got a bed, we've got the eye of Enders, we've got everything we need for a bit of an adventure. Let's do it. Um, the fam famous uh, cardinal directions of that way and that way, says Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. Uh, I believe that is how people have navigated for as long as we've had stars. We're like, yeah, there's the the, the North Star, which is famous because it allows you to go that way. And then there's, uh, there's the other stars, which let you go the other ways. It's worked very well for a very long time. It's crazy to think, by the way, that at some point we did use stars to navigate. Like, imagine trying to explain to someone, like, yeah, well, we have Google Maps, but some people still navigate by, like, looking at trees and working out where the moss grows. It seems ridiculous. And, you know, in the, the medieval time, it's like, well, you could keep track of the cities that you're going past. If you hit Africa, you've gone too far. You, get, you hit America, uh, you've certainly gone too far. Uh, you know, so you could, you could you could use those sorts of like old timey directions too, but instead this is what we do. So I need some wood if I'm gonna go this way a bunch, and so the plan is to chop down. You know, we'll just we'll just take it from the pillager outpost. No one will notice a couple of missing blocks, uh, just just a couple, and so let's do precisely that. Uh, you found it digging already, didn't you? Was that another world? Oh yeah, I am insane. That there is a stronghold. Below me, chat. I have no idea how I mixed that up. <laughs> Wait, do you think the eye offender is taking me to this stronghold? Um, okay, let's go. On, let's go on an adventure anyway. Yeah, that is a hundred percent what's happening. There is a. I have a stronghold already. We don't need to fight. What happens if I throw it though, chat? I don't want to waste it. Is it going to take me to that stronghold? I think that's probably where it was taking me though. There's a real good chance. Real good chance. Well, we, uh, you know, so we used to use eye offenders to navigate our Minecraft worlds till we realized the much better strategy of dig straight down and coincidentally end up in a, uh, in a stronghold. Um, but yeah, there is a stronghold right below this village. Very, very, very handy. Okay, so, um, you, uh, make, you just need a long enough ball of string to leave behind to make sure you don't get lost. I've always enjoyed that sort of navigation too, the, uh, the classic, um, also known as uh, make sure that you have breadcrumbs behind you system. So yeah, they, they, I do already have not only a stronghold, but also it's chilling in the room. You have no shield, shield. I don't need a shield. What's it going to protect me from? Is the dragon going to go, oh, I would fire dragon breath at you, but I see you have a shield. No, I'm going to die anyway. Um, Notes, so if you hit America, you actually went to India. That's why the Caribbean is called the uh, the West Indies, right? The it's because it's the it's West India, um, which you know, I, which is it's interesting to me um, the idea of being so wrong that you end up right. I think this is one of those cool things of like uh, it it kind of happens in the business world all the time. So this isn't the right way. I think I gotta go up here. Yeah, it's a staircase. Like if you ever. Um, I, I don't know, like, uh, the the classic example of this is always the is the, the stuff that uh, Elon Musk gets up to in his business dealings, right? He's like, yeah, we're going to have a self-driving car. So, the, you know, it's going to work as, you know, it's going to do all of this stuff. And it's like, a, it's a sales pitch to convince you that you can have a car that drives itself, basically. Um, but in reality, it's like, yeah, well, we get a, we get a slightly better, you know, like, set of autopilot. Like, it's, it's the best... What's the word? Like cruise control in any car. 
But by selling it as self-driving, people will spend money on it and want to use it. And then they get something that is what they want. It's just also wrong. Some would say that that's what uh, Christopher Columbus basically did to discover West India. He's like, you look, I know all the science says that the world is really, really, really uh, big. But I reckon it's so small that we'll hit India if we go that way. And whether he was like knowingly deceitful or not, he found the people who gave him money, what they were looking for. And maybe, maybe not exactly what they're looking for, but better, right? Like, they, he found them India. Um, but like, better. It's an India that no one's even been to yet. He found them India 2. They were looking for India 1, and he found them the sequel. Um, seems like a, a pretty, pretty good thing. Or maybe the, the worst thing, I guess. Enderman will wreck you, you do need a shield. Yeah, the shield is, uh, is definitely a, a, a good to have sort of thing. So I just wanted to confirm that I need four eye fenders left, by the way. I've got eight in there right now, I need four to go. So I just need four simple ender pearls, and we can go to the end. Very exciting. Also, India 2.0 says, uh, Securitas, Securitas, uh, 1973. Yeah, I, um, it is, uh, you know, like, uh, it, it, it was a powerful thing. Also, I can't wait till we find India 3. Yeah, think about it, right? We're gonna, we're gonna convince people that we're getting in rockets because we want to go to space. We're gonna find all this, um, we're gonna find this huge amount of, uh, you know, fun funding. We're gonna put it into the space programs that we have. And then we're gonna reveal just after we leave, like, oh yeah. By the way, I was just lying about all of this, all of this space stuff and Mars. There isn't actually another planet out there. This is actually just the fastest route to India free. Um, Cause you know, most sailing is done two dimensionally, but space can be three dimensions. What if there's a, what if there is a third India on the other side of the moon? What if there is, you ever consider that? The up Indies? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'd have to call it, right? We'd find the up Indies chain, and we'd start spending. We'd we'd go like, well, um, you know, you'd look at the world and you'd say, how are we gonna populate this new place? Well, we could do the normal thing and ask people if they want to go, or we could invent a really convoluted triangle that takes people there against their will, just like we've done before. And then, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a good idea that definitely is happening. So, um. Yeah, the plan now is to go... I, I want to get enchantments before I really... I'm, I'm going to get my ender pearls in now. I'm going to get some ender pearls by going to the warp forest. I found a warp forest a little bit ago. So I'm going to get that done nice and easy. Then I'm going to go mining and I'm going to get the experience that I need to do level 30 enchantments. That is something that I need, so it's something I will do. Then, okay, so Oxide Daisy in. Then once I've gotten that done, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be ready to do the end, which is exciting. I I'm so excited for this end because it's gonna take, it's gonna be the weirdest end experience I've ever had. Chat, I am very very excited for it. Okay, so I'll run through the tunnel. So cats, have you seen Spider Man Two on the PS Five? Um, let's uh, let's uh, there's a lot of PlayStation exclusive games I haven't gone around to playing yet. It's kind of a shame I. There's, there's something interesting about... Uh, I, I've spoken to a lot of people who play games as like their full-time thing. Where it's the same problem of like, yeah, how do you work out which games are casually worth your time when you have a game that is like your full-time thing? I've seen... Um, it's like quite hard to stay active as a, you know, like gamer in the sense that you play all the games when you play one game as your main thing. Um, I'm kind of like fortunate because like Minecraft is one of these games where you can like... You can do an infinite number of things in it. I feel for people who are like, yeah, I, I play, I, I play. I, I, for, one is the example that comes to mind, but there's, there's a bunch of others. Like, there are a lot of games out there where you're basically doing the same thing. And if it's multiplayer, it's like, you hope that other people play badly um, so that you can have a, an easy day today. And if everyone else is too good at the game, you have a slightly worse day today. Sounds rough. So Cat's having a lot of fun with uh, Sheha and Starfield. Yeah, I'm like uh, I'm like 29, 30 hours into that game now. Um, I still haven't done much of the main quest line. I, it's one of my biggest weaknesses in games that I really have to like push myself to get any real quests done. Uh, but I've been enjoying exploring the the galaxy. It's been it's been great. So if I'm gonna make my own end, 
I think I'm gonna. I, I think I've worked it out, chat. If I'm making my own end, I want to make like a big bowl in the middle of no. I want to do something you can't do otherwise. Also, I was gonna make a shield, but I didn't, chat. Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> Being a gamer is kind of nonsensical, like calling yourself a movie watcher. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I think that's a trend, a change that has happened, like within my lifetime. Is now it is just accepted that games are a media, like any other. They can be artistic, like other media. They can. Uh, I really like that that's happened. Um, it takes a lot from a lot of people, I think. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think there are a lot of people who still think that way, and there are a lot of people who like, basically like. Need, you know, it because it, it it works both ways, right? Because people throw that identity term on other people, people felt the need to pick it up themselves. And so you need to be like, yeah, look, I am a gamer because I play the coolest games. That God of War just came out and I am playing it because that is how this works. Or whatever the, the case may be. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there's like a, it's almost like a cultural thing, right? To be like, yeah, we had the same experience of being shunned for our hobby at some point. But now it is actually very cool. Um, okay, so now what? Where are we headed? What's the where's where's the Endermans? I I feel like this was meant to be a whole Enderman biome, but I haven't seen one yet. Also, Jake C. Um, I uh, do you still play old school RuneScape? They're adding the sailing skill. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't play old school RuneScape. Um, so I get real intense urges, but it's like a, it's like a gambling addict or a, a heroin addict or something. I'm like, I do not have the hours for this. I will be sitting there on the toilet, being like, I'll just get some agility training in. I will, I will be sitting there at night, being like, if I'm not asleep anyway, why don't I just fletch some arrows? I'll be saying stuff like this, and I'll, I will fully believe it, and I'll be, I'll be like, yeah. This is the best thing. Look at me. I'm making some money. But it won't be the best thing. Also, there is not a single end of that. There was one Enderman here earlier. But once I dug the tunnel, he went away. Um, there's something wrong. There's got to be something wrong, right? Or I'd see things. It's such a spookily empty biome. Is there is any... Oh, there's a bastion below it. I think I've been to that bastion, actually. But still, it's spooky here. Yeah? Not a fan. Okay, so that's one Enderman. I will I will have to work with one Enderman. That's okay. So one Enderman, that's good. What now? Two Enderman. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, so we're just going to make a little hole in the wall here. And then we're going to immediately look at you. Did I look at him correctly? I'm not going to go out and look, just in case. Okay, look at them both. And then, now we kill them both. So we have to kill about six, seven, eight endermen because we need four enderpearls. Uh, we need to look at as many as we can. We now need just three enderpearls. Um, we still need three enderpearls. And I'm waiting for a guy who just teleported somewhere. No shield is such a big danger, by the way. I need to really appreciate how bad of an idea this is with no shield. But I'm also here. I'm getting my enderpearls done. Let's, let's, let's see this for what it is, which is an opportunity. Um, but yeah, I, this is, this is the weirdest opportunity I've seen. Okay, there we go. That was an Enderman. No, that was the one Enderman. There is just one in the whole biome. Okay, so I'm looking. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Go. Two more Endermans. Um, the terms Gamer and Gummy Girl were ruined by both negative images associated with them, and the fact that games became so mainstream, it stopped being unique. Yeah, the uh, I I do believe that happened. That uh, it, it's 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 an interesting point. That I I I don't I don't think they're relatively correct terms anymore. But there is like in the same way that like if you really liked movies, you're a moviegoer, and you hadn't watched a single Oscar worthy film from the last five years, or you know you hadn't watched any new movie that came out in the last two years. You'd start to feel like you're letting your... I know, I, I used to read a lot of books. And one of the things that I, like, almost, like, present myself for is, like... Man, I just don't read as much anymore. I I find it so hard to dedicate time to a book in the, you know, the very crazy world 
I, I, I feel like, uh, you know, who, who just has like hours just laying around that they can dedicate in a block of time to something like a book. Um, something I, I, I do look at. And so it's the same thing as like games, right? Where you're like, I want to play games so that people look at me and know that I do play other games. Which is weird because that's the weird bit about within the gaming space, right? Is that you have to, um, you know, imagine not trusting someone's opinion on a movie because they didn't watch enough other movies. But, I, which actually, I guess makes sense. Like, if you were gonna, if you were gonna listen to a movie reviewer's opinion, you would kind of want to know that they, you know, have watched other movies in their life. <laughs> and if they said, like, yeah, uh, I've heard of this thing called Citizen Kane, uh, but I bet it, oh, that was weird. Like, you would want them to have a decent film knowledge. Maybe the same thing's true for games. You gotta have a basic game understanding. But then the, the difference with, okay. The interesting difference with uh, games, like, the, you know, because you ever heard about, like, media appreciation? That's the wildest idea for a, a class to me, but it's something so many, I've heard it in so many universities, where they're like, yeah, we're going to teach you how to appreciate media. Which sound, sounds like a joke. Real real class. Can't, can't stress that now. I think I made a tunnel through this, by the way. I definitely don't remember going above this last time. Um, but you can't just, like, learn, you know, the names of 50 video games and be like, I know them now. Also, Toy Cat live streaming reading The Master and the Margarita when? Is that a whole book about margaritas? If so, I'm so in. Um, so, yeah, if I knew what, then what I had now, I wouldn't have sold my NES N64 SNES stuff and streamed myself playing them and way, made way more money than when I sold them. Yeah, there was a... There was, an, there was a day where, because um, for the first years of YouTube, gaming was basically discouraged, was borderline not allowed. Like, um, when the YouTube partner program came out, they were specifically like, yeah, but not for gaming channels. You can't become partners because you're just stealing content from people. Um, it was a real novelty when um, uh, Minecraft was uh, specifically... Uh, I think Microsoft and Mojang, like, so then when Microsoft bought Mojang, it, like, doubled up. Were the two companies to be like, you can stream our games and make money from them if you want. It was, like, huge to me. You could play Halo. You could play any of these games. And they wouldn't even... They wouldn't even prevent you making money from doing so. And so, that, like, legitimization from the games industry, saying, yeah, we like this, actually. Um... Kind of led to, like, a lot of stuff coming out of this. No, it's a book about a cat who may be Satan and Soviet and a Soviet bureaucracy and lots of other things. Oh, that sounds fun, actually. I would love, I would love to be a cat in a Soviet slash satanic bureaucracy. <laughs> um, is that why MCNs became widely used as Campy 600? Yeah, you had to use a uh, MCN or you couldn't monetize your video game footage. Um... Which is why so many people got locked into lifetime deals, which, by the way, aren't even legal. Um, but so many people got trapped in these like lifetime deals because they're like, it's the only way. You need a um, you need a network to. I'm uh, I'm in the process right now of like finally being done with my network after all these years. Uh, it's been like a good enough deal for the lot. Like um, as soon as networks realized that people could go independent, there was this huge like, oh god, we've got to do something besides just take people's money now. I don't even know what that would be. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, we finally have our four Ender Pearls, which means we make two more Blaze Rods for Eye of Enders, which means... Oh, no, I already had them. I, I made two unnecessary Blaze Powders. That's fine. So we need four Eye of Enders. That much is true. Put the four Blaze Powder in there. Put my Mycelium and my um, Warp Nilium in there. And then let's, uh, let's take out the Warp Planks and let's, like, finish this off. I think this is a real good looking wall. And it'd be a shame if we didn't complete it. And that's how Machinima went bankrupt, kids, says uh, Abortion Meister 420. What, what sort of a name is that? Jesus. Um, but, um, name aside. Yeah, yeah, that is that is basically the situation. There was a big wave of stuff like that happening. There's, there's a whole problem. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to use warp planks for the base here. I think, I think this is a real pretty uh, design. I think it's like... It's mo it's warped from being just pretty by itself to being kind of like ugly pretty, but I kind of like it for that regardless. It's a it's got a certain charm to it uh, that I just can't resist, and it also keeps me safer because 
when you look at it, it just, you know, you feel so much fear that obviously you're going to be safe. And so then once we've done this, we're going to work on the rest of the wall. Should we just leave a gap there? You know what? What's, what's the worst that can come through here, chat? <laughs> so we'll just put those there for now as an absolute safe measure. Um, keep on placing around here. We could use top half slabs for some places off this. But I think this is more than fine for now. Oh, sorry for the name. I uh, couldn't think of a real one. <laughs> Says a portion of my stuff for 20. You know what? Okay, I give you credit. It's not a. It's not like a, I am I am trolling the system name. It's just a... Yeah, this is just, just what I came up with. You know, I, it's... My my first username on the internet was something like Batman Zero. And I can... I'm going to level you. I've never watched a... I've never... Um, I've never, never, never... I've never, ever, ever, rather... Um, watched anything Batman related. I tried to watch the Dark Knight trilogy because the, you know, the man where he's like, yo, so you see how, you know, like that whole thing. I, I just, I haven't watched it. I, 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 I didn't get into it. It wasn't my thing. Uh, but I tried to watch it way back because people said it was one of the best like superhero movie uh, things like 10 years ago. But anyway, I, I just, I was just like, I need to pick a username. Oh dear God, Batman's a thing, right? Yep, that's, that's definitely a thing. Um, and so, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's the same. I guess that's the kind of media literacy thing. Like, people, there is a superhero discourse out there. There are people who have very strong opinions about superheroes. And you better hope you're on the right side of that. Um, you know, there's a certain amount that you just need to know. Like, oh, well, it's a given that you know about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the, the order in which it's all releasing. So we'll, we'll assume that's a foregone conclusion as we talk about... Uh, the next thing here. Okay, so this is where the all of this is gonna come in by the way We have a few spaces for it over here, which is just lovely Okay, this is nice But now we are going to kind of work on expanding the wall right now The wall only covers half the village and if you have a wall that covers half your village, you don't really have a wall um, Oh look, there's a baby villager out there. I guess we have to get those guys inside the village before any of this but yeah, now we're going to move the wall over here somewhere. So just place a random warp plank here. And we're going to build just around this little enclosure. So this is going to be another entrance or exit. Right here to right here. Which is hard. And then we're going to move it around here. And then I guess it's going to exclude the, the bamboo pens. No, it's going to include the bamboo pens. It doesn't take... Any more, any fewer blocks to not do that, I think. Or we could go, we could go around one, but not the other. Yeah, that seems like an easy solution. Go around one, don't go around the other. So we go through and in like this. And we're great. Uh, yeah, mine was originally poor seven, because why not, and I decided to rebrand. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a weird truth of this. Have you heard the third one might be a penguin, says Canby? I think it. I think it is very likely. I, I kind of went into why in today's uh, video, but it seems like a real. Like, it's easy to say, "Oh yeah, this is what it is." And even looking back, I, I looked at the tweet and I, it was supposedly a repost of a deleted one, but the deleted one was you know a while ago. So I, I don't even know that that was correct. I think that was just a troll. Um, it's in, even in itself the correct prediction was posted like two minutes after the previous one, but maybe they just edited. Um, well, that was in the first place. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy that it took so many people. It, cr it's crazy how many people are willing to believe a leak, without seeing anything that backs it up. You know, like you need to be sure that like this came out at this time. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I think, I think Roger Badgman kind of spoiled people because he did. He never posted credentials. He's just like, yeah, this is a thing. Either believe it or don't. And so now people are like, yeah, this is just my thing, believe it or don't. But you really shouldn't. There's a, <laughs> you know, the, the don't part is the part you should be paying attention to. So, um, yeah, I, I like this. I like the way the wall's coming out, by the way. It's very, very nice. So now we're going to grab the rest of our purple blocks. We do have ooh, six panes and five blocks of amethyst. Not really enough to finish it, but enough to at least place some over here. So we'll place some on this corner. Because this is probably the biggest risk entrance for all the villagers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're good. 
It was posted by a Twitter account commonly known for misinformation and then it spread, so. It's, it's, a, I guess it's, it's annoying when you're a regular for something, when you see how the rest of the world interacts with it. Like, uh, I, I, again, people who really like their superhero movies, uh, hearing me and being like, yeah, I hear the thing about the Batman trilogy is that there's a guy who goes, oh, so I see the dude, you know, like, <laughs> if that's like, that's probably painful somewhat, uh, to hear. When, when I hear that someone knows about a Minecraft update, they're like, yeah, I heard that they added frogs. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's the big feature. That's about all, I guess. Um, it's really interesting. Uh, I guess this is, what is it, the echo? Um, people, people are really good at, like, hearing voices close to them. But it's really surprising to hear how the average person thinks about something that you do. By the way, this dirt has started to spread to all sorts of different chests. Very wild thing. Okay, so now I think we're going to have to probably multi-layer my sugarcane farm. Like, I, I could put a layer of sugarcane right here, and it would go perfectly level with my house. Which means it would just be, like, too perfect not to do, right? I do need more sugarcane if I'm going to do a lot of enchanting. The other thing I need to make sure we do is get our enchantments going good. So that's, that's an important thing. Um... Yeah, I, I think early on you need to get a good grip on your stuff like this. So the other thing I want to make sure I do, for example, is always have that lava. Oh, I've removed the cauldron. Am I still doing trading with villagers? I can put the cauldron back, right? Yeah, I've got spare villagers, I think. You know, I have to be careful about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my lectern librarian in now so I can make that work so I can do these farms. I'll place the dirt above my existing farm now, just so we can see where it's going to go. I think two layers is not as much as I usually go with, don't get me wrong. But it'll have to do for now. It'll literally have to do. I hate that we have to do the Java placing method here. It's terrible, it's painful, but it is what we have to do. Um, and people look at you like you just insulted them. <laughs> also, um, now... Uh, we're not going to have these sides, I guess. We'll just jump straight over to this. And there we go. Wonderful. Remember to enchant a shield so we don't have to remind you all the time, says Tyler Kowalskis. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Um, if I put mending on the shield, it would be extra, extra safe, right? Might actually be worth doing. But yeah, by just having a second layer to this, we make, we make the village a little bit more complicated. But also... Now the vil now my now my house feels like it's more of a level place, which I like. Um, yeah, I um, I think that the big plan now is gonna have to be get experience. I'm level twenty nine, chat. One level from decent enchantments. I could have like good diamond armor for my chest plate as well as. <laughs> I think I I'm standing by the fact that this is golden. By the way, this is amazing. But some good diamond boots, or at least just enchanted boots. Good helmet, plus all these other things would be great. Also, look, here is my horse. He has... Wait, I can finally get a saddled horse. That's exciting, actually. But, um, as I was saying, I... Um... I think the horse is such a good example of... He, he has armor on him, but what value does it add to me? What, what possible value do I get from it? And if you think the answer isn't none then you're being far too kind to my horse. So yeah, this is... Oh, wow, that's so interesting that he couldn't get out of here by himself, but I could get him out of there. Huh. I wonder if there's something you can do about that. Oh, by the way, this is the worst horse I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a horse that can only jump this high? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can just about get over this one block wall. Seriously, this is, this is depressing. Can he jump on a fence? Chat, I have a horse that can't jump on a fence. That That's not possible. According to the wiki, they're meant to have a minimum of 1.5 blocks. I've never seen a block that can't... I've never seen a horse that can't jump on a fence. This should go in a museum somewhere. Wow. That is that is something. Um, maybe it's because his, le his legs have been so unrested by hanging around in the same place, but... Still, absolutely disappointing. Okay, so back on the horse we're going to get. Uh, should be easy. And, uh, well, that's why you don't play Java. Is this why I don't play Java? Is this what I... 
I, I don't know what your message is meant to be there, but I'm not sure that I agree with it. Okay. So, bro, you just kicked the baby at the bed. Yeah, sometimes you gotta steal a baby's bed to really get the message across, I think. So I'm gonna put this guy back in here and then we're never gonna use him again. Gonna be honest with you there. He is, he is less than worthless. If he was worthless, that would be a compliment. That would be an improvement on his status. But yeah, we just put him in there. Put some bamboo back. He's not gonna be able to climb out. I know that for a fact. And now we're gonna try to go for this horse. Oh, I need the... I need to grab this first. And then we're gonna get off. Okay, let's let's try let's try your boy in here. There is a horse trapped in the middle of my farm. I haven't tamed him yet. Oh, first time. Oh, there we go. That's a real horse chat. It, he can jump more than a block. Okay. Also, eat dude says Polly E. So a reminder to uh, anyone who's just uh, tuning in who hasn't uh, who doesn't know uh, ultra hardcore. Uh, when you eat, it does not give you any uh, benefit. There is no... I can't get out of here. I guess he doesn't jump that high at all. If he can't. Uh, there's no benefit to... Um, like, eating. You do not heal from it. The only benefit is eventually you won't go down to free. And then you won't be able to sprint. However, if you do get hurt, you want to be able to eat as soon as possible. So there's... Uh, it, it, because I've got the suspicious stew. Which means that there's an interesting benefit... We're being just below full health, like three, seven, six and a half hunger shanks is my ideal, because then I can eat two bowls of mushroom stew, ASAP. It is very counterintuitive, but it's true. I wonder if there are configurations of bamboo that trap a player in a one by one. I don't think you can ever be trapped in here. I guess yeah, you can. I guess you can often be trapped in here. It's weird that um, it it kind of makes like a miniature maze. But if you look right here, oh, and actually. Maybe, maybe there isn't a way you can be trapped in. I think because the player can fit through such tiny gaps. Uh, you can always, like, just about squeeze your way through one of these things. Um, but in theory, yeah, you could never really trap someone with these, right? You could maybe have those there and then the exact same there. But then you you could maybe... Yeah, I, d I don't know that's ever doable, personally. But let's just take the bamboo and uh, turn it into bamboo. We have a lot of it, and so we'll have a lot of, the, of that stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, does the Suspicious Stew cause regeneration? Yeah, it gives you two, uh, like, seconds or two effects of regeneration, which is, which is handy in my opinion. Okay, so now we're going to make some bookshelves. Bookshelves are very important. Um, I, um, I think I just want to have another decent librarian. This guy is maybe going to be decent. I guess I've already traded with him, so I have to commit to this. But I want to have... Um, a fair, you know, I want to have more of these guys. So I've got three books here. I've got more chilling over here. So we'll just... We'll make two lecterns now. And I'm going to go... For, oh, I don't have more books. Are they in here? Where do, I, where do I keep the books, chat? Was that the last of them? Do I have to go back for more? I could go back for more, but like... Anyway, let's just, uh, we're going to make a lectern. And then we're going to use the lectern to um, try and get just another decent enchantment. I think protection is a good example. But, like, uh, unbreaking would be just fine. The first one where I'm like, yeah, I need this. Because then I can put down my cauldrons without having to think, like, oh, if only I'd done this first. So bookshelf first. Then six of these. And then six of these. And now we can make a lectern. So, yeah, this is one of the more annoying processes processes in Minecraft. You know, processes sounds sounds more more academic, though. The processes. So we're going to break that, and we're going to get two neverwarp. Break that, three neverwarp. So keep this farming as well, by the way. I like that my neverwarp has, in fact, grown. Slowly but surely, I'll have a large amount of it. And, um, yeah, we've got a librarian already in here. So we can just break that from underneath him. Break this as well, of course. Go back down there. Maybe put this in just to make sure that doesn't do anything weird. And now we can go try the exact same thing with a second villager. Maybe inside, maybe outside. I, I don't really know. I think it'd be fun to make his house look like a mending book. But that's that's a that's a silly idea. Not, not a right now idea. So now instead we're going to find another villager. And we're going to lectern him up. 
Um, nice little Neverwatt farm. Yeah, I really like the Neverwatt farms. They're, they're so simple, and they do give you a lot of value. Um, and you can do some silly things of them if you really want to. It's a, it's a win for everyone involved. So, I'm going to place this over here. Okay, I was kind of expecting one of these villagers to get involved. But apparently they don't want to. Do you think they're so far away they don't even count us in the village anymore? I wonder. I wonder. So, we're going to make a boat and bring them into the village, I guess? Makes as much sense as anything else here. Yeah, it's got to be something like that. Like, there's no... There's two villages about jobs. And also, I didn't get a sparkle from inside the village. So, I think I have to bring them closer. Also, uh, good to see you digging troops. I am doing desert well. Thank you for asking. I, uh, I'm trying to get every underrated YouTuber that goes live to say chicken. It says Dejulkin. See, the problem is that chicken is not ethical. It's bad for you. And you know what it's worse for? The environment and the chicken. Yeah, that's right. They don't even like it. So no, who won't say that word? Can't make me. Also, yeah, I think he was just so far away, he genuinely um, stopped being in the village. Kind of wild. So, yeah, I want to get him inside the village, obviously. So we'll make a little hole through here. And we'll make one of these houses just for him. No, we'll just put him in a little corner here. Just right by the... I'll, I'll put him next to the ha pet fen here. Pen here. So I'll make sure he's a part of that. And, um... Yeah, I, um... Their, their beds are outside the walls now. <laughs> you know, dazed and confused, I have one rule in life, and it's if you're not willing to sleep in a dangerous situation, you don't need to sleep bad enough. So now we place that there, put a lever on it, and we can do this fun thing after we check what he's got. Bad, check again, bad, check again. Oh, I think someone else picked up the job this time. Bad, check again. Actually... Is it always going to be the same traits here or something? He's got the same lack of books three times in a row. Flame one. Bad. Try again. What you got? Unbreaking two. Bad. No. But combining books together, we don't have the experience for it. Bad. Try again. Oh, what we got this time? Projectile protection four. Bad. Try again. Unpaling one. Bad. Try. Honestly, impaling is such a dumb enchantment. Who needs extra damage against fish? Who needs it? Be honest with me. Do you think you need it? Fawns? Good, but try again. Like, it's good for the wrong situation. Uh, impaling one, bad, try again. And so yeah, we're gonna do this all day, not, all, all day, every day, non-stop. We're gonna put the villager as close to the button as we can. So that we can do this. Okay, smite V? Nope. Try again. <laughs> it takes a bit sometimes. Try again. It's very, very satisfying, I do have to say, as a mechanic. But it is also dumb that this is a mechanic. Like, I... This is kind of what I was talking about with the dog armor. Like, dog armor doesn't add anything to Minecraft. This doesn't add anything to Minecraft, in my opinion. It makes you have to do something that is... is not, You know, to do the most efficient thing, to be boring, is never the, a good goal. I use Impaling 5 to take out Elder Guardians. I, I do have to admit, the, the Guardian and Elder Guardian damage is really, really nice. And so if you want to have the minimum damage, Impaling's just fine at that. But even then, how many Elder Guardians do you need to kill? Is it worth having a whole enchantment just to deal with them? Like, it's fun that it's an option. But it's like it's like Bane of Arthropods, in my opinion, that it's just far too specialized. Silk Touch, I'm going to get naturally by default. So it's nice, but not nice enough. Looting 2, we're talking about something, but like, nah, not that bad. Channeling one. Oh, I like channeling. But not, not what we're going for. I want unbreaking free specifically, chat. Unbreaking free I'm is very good for me. I think fortune free could also be just fine. Like that would allow me to get a lot of diamonds very quickly. But I'm not gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for unbreaking. Although I'll get unbreaking naturally on a lot of stuff. So maybe I just go fortune free. Yeah, I think so, chat. I think. I think I just want fortune. I think I put fortune on my tool. I'm getting a lot of diamonds. I'm getting a lot of never quartz. It just pays off to have. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna 
put it on a pickaxe after it's fully enchanted, though. Yeah, I'm going to use this pickaxe to get that last level. Then I'm going to put Fortune Free on there after I've enchanted it with efficiency and whatever else. That's the plan. I do have the free diamonds. We can make the pickaxe now. It's ready to go. Uh, we'll trade for the book now as well. So we just need like almost all of these, right? Just 11 left. Let's do it. So we just need a book. Uh, books are very easy to come by, thankfully. By the way, I think you'll find that as of just now, we have survived 74 days in Minecraft Ultra Ultra Hardcore. Okay, so we've got the pickaxe. We've got... Okay, I've got to just dump my stuff again. Like, ugh, <laughs> too much of it lying around. Put the egg in there. Um, yeah, today is going to be a day where we... I, I'm going to do get waterproofing done soon too. But we, we want to get some decently enchanted stuff. I need a book. So we'll just chop down enough of this. Or even three right now is fine. And then we'll kill one cow. Uh, it'd be nice not to kill one cow, but, you know, welcome to society. Um, just breed them all. Everything's wonderful. Then kill one of them. So we're actually still re more than replacing them, which is good. Um, so we got the cat lever. We got the, the thing. Now we make this into a book in my inventory. That is not how that works. You need to make paper, which means not an inventory. And we're good. Also, by the way, the uh, five gifted memberships didn't shop early, Chris H. But I want to let you know, I really appreciate them. Uh, it was it was very kind. I, I. It is a shame that we didn't get to listen to Pig Step Five Side. That that was the whole point. The, the 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 Pig Step was meant to be the best bit of it. But um, Fortune doesn't. Al oh no, we waited too long. Um, Fortune also multiplies crops aside from sugar cane and wheat. Definitely worth it. I usually know that I've got to rush off and do it before anything happens. But I just never assume that they're actually going to change their trait. Like, why is it librarians that are so... Ugh. Do I want efficiency 5, chat? Do I want efficiency 5? Um, I actually don't know. Efficiency 5 feels real good. But we'll be getting efficiency 4 on most stuff anyway. And how much block breaking do I need thus? Ugh. It would have been just, if you'd have just stuck with fortune, we'd be in a better place right now. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. I, I, I want unbreaking. Unbreaking would be great. I, I finally got what I was looking for, and now I need something else. Um. Yeah, what, what are you gonna give me? Loyalty? Great. Don't need, like, don't need your loyalty, Mr. Mr. Villager. What I need is a good enchantment. Riptide's really cool, actually. Maybe I should go with Riptide. Riptide is so fun, but it's not useful fun. It's fun fun. Um, I don't have any tridents to be fair. It's like, what am I going to do? Kill it around? Also, I need to make a shield. You've not updated your member camp for a few streams, you know? Um, oh, this is that This is that thing where I'm like, uh, I'm always cautious of like re-saying the same thing over and over again in streams. It's one of my like big fears. Is like, oh no. Do I have to... Do I have to say it? Uh, but you know, just uh, just just in case, uh, just on the off chance, beneficial to anyone watching. Um, I um, I we don't count gifted memberships towards the total because when you get gifted a membership, it immediately unsubscribes you. Because obviously, when you gift a membership, you're not trying to get that person hooked on the monthly commitment, and also you're not paying for their forever membership. You're giving them like a a one month trial, effectively. So I still make the free, you know, like I make whatever the membership pays out of YouTube's, after YouTube takes their cut. Um, however, uh, it doesn't count as a membership because it immediately counts as a cancellation. Like, I get one new member and one new cancellation immediately. And so we used to count them for the month, but it just meant that the membership would go up and down like crazy. Um, yeah, this, uh, villages are not good for anyone's mental health. Yeah, this is, this is so much more fun than anything else Mojang could do. I swear to God, if they change the system, I'm going to get so mad of them. Uh, you just got fortune again and cancelled it. Oh, yeah, but it cost 40 emeralds. It was so much. Like, I know I could have gone with it, but I don't have 40 emeralds. And so I just, I don't want to do it, chat. I could probably make it, I could have just sold some sticks, I guess. I should have just sold some sticks. But I, I don't want to pay 40 emeralds, chat. It, it's, a it's a lot to pay. Um, 
I'm not made of money. Um, oh, I, I, you know, I've been here for nearly every string for a year now, and I didn't start knowing you stopped doing that. Yeah, I, I wonder. I, 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 uh, I think that's a good sign. Uh, it's a helpful reminder that I, there are some things that I'm like, yeah, yeah, I said this like twice, so I never need to say it again. The, the weird thing about streaming is like, it's like not always a high intention environment. So I need to be like, okay, chat, this is really important. Everyone listening right now, you need to know this. Subscribe to IBX Toy Cat. It's the most important thing I'll say all day. You know, like, uh, because I, I do feel that way, funnily enough, about like, um, one of the things I'm bad at is saying at the end of every video, like, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, or whatever. Because it's like, well, I'd, I'd hope that you know that if you like a video, you should do it. But the weird thing is, like, it, it has really good returns. Because a lot of people are like, oh, I guess if you're saying so, maybe I should. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Riptide free. It's nice, but we're not what we're going for. Uh, water is so loud now. What's, what's really crazy about it is how loud it is with other animals jumping in. Such a such an annoying bedrock quirk. There's always some weird uh, bug going on on bedrock, and this is our current bug of the month. Um, luck of the sea? Nah, yeah, not for me. Maybe instead feather falling too? No, nope, not instead. Um, by the way, I uh, want to say uh, thank you, lifeless lork. Ork. Appreciate it. Hope you hope you're having a wonderful day, and you're doing very desert well. Um, but yeah, we. Um, if someone, if you tell people to do something enough times, they might do it. Yeah, there's two, there's two psychological effects, right? One of these is the novelty bias. When something is new, people are more likely to care about it. Whereas when you, when every YouTuber says like at the end of a video, you tune it out. But the other one is the exposure effect. If you just hear something enough times, you buy it. Like Coca-Cola spends hundreds of millions every year in advertising, even though everyone already knows who they are. Because I so by the way, thank you, Terry McLeod, becoming the 404th channel member. Sorry, the number of members we have right now is currently not found. Um, sad to say, uh, but true to say. But no, thank thank you very much. Welcome to the club. Um, so, okay, is the shield for his mental uh, health or yours? <laughs> I don't need a shield. You know what, shields. Shields are for lame people. Cool people don't need shields. It's a true fact. Piercing. I want to get fortune again, chat. I just, I don't want to pay all the money that I just had to pay. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little break. A little break from doing this. I'm going to chop down some of these. And we're going to, we're going to get it all done. Okay. Go, 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 go. Get it all done. Um... Yeah, there we go. Also, personally, if someone tries to sell me something harder and harder, I tend up hating it. Call it used car syndrome. I think that that might be true for selling it harder and harder. But what about if someone's just like, oh yeah, just just in case you forgot, here is this thing. On the fifth time, you're like, oh, actually, yeah, maybe I I, I, I had been meaning to do it, but just kind of didn't get around to it. I guess now is as good as time as any. Sure, let's, let's go for it. Because a lot of people statistically do. Um, I, one of the things I did wrong during my, uh, when I was trying to get my keyring made, I didn't want to, like, promote it at the end of the video as more than once, because I was like, people already know about it. But yeah, every time you promote something new like that, a piece of merch, there are people who are like, oh yeah, didn't know about this, that's real cool. And then they, you know, they pick it up. It's fascinating, but it is true. Um, and I swear I'm not saying that, because what else? What, what what incentive would I have to do so? So, Unbreaking Power is actually probably worth getting at some point. But I'm going to try have another black uh, another Fletcher, just to be sure. Um, actually, you know, maybe we should cure these guys just for the discounts we get on their trades. I've got the Gold Nettles. I've got the Splash Potion. Let's just treat ourselves. Also, Tarek Mugliard doesn't just become a member. Gifts five memberships, which do show up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's crazy. Um... Uh, it's, it's wild, Chris H, that yours didn't, but thank you very much uh, for the gift of memberships today. All the new people able to enjoy the perks of being a channel member. Um, so what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to... I was putting this off for a while. I think we're just going to do it now, though, chat. I've got the spare gold if I need it. Let's splash both of these guys and kill them today. Do. Okay, so I'm going to wait till he's on this side. Oh, I hope that got them both. There we go. So I'm now curing two Fletchers, and then they'll be so appreciative they'll give me a good discount. 
That's how I understand that it works. Do, 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 do. Um, don't waste your gapples. The golden apples are important, and I do want to keep a bunch, don't get me wrong. But we are, we're gonna make, we're gonna get baddie from them too. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I, um, sorry, no, I'll stop commenting for a while. Oh, no issue. I, I, I feel like sometimes I have like a, it's like a, call it like a compliment that it's like, oh no, when this one person says something, you're like, oh, but I thought you were one of the people who understood. It's like a, um, I think one of the weird, like, isolating things on the internet is, uh, is some, like, I, I, I don't know, for example, like, one of the weird effects we have on this channel is pre-stream chats. Most people who are, like, into the streams don't pre-stream chat, and so it's like a weird, wild, strange place, uh, as an example. Um, and so when you go in there and see it, you're like, oh, is, is this what chat just is? And you're like, no, it's a small subset. There's some, there's some things that, like, make you go, oh, no. Um, but, uh, so, and, and, like, there are some, what's, what's the word for, like, the most obnoxious people are the loudest people. This is, this is one of the, the sad truths, is that people who are obnoxious, like, you know, like, people who do not care about how their message is received, are the people who will talk the most, because they are the ones who are not thinking about how their message is received, and therefore aren't limiting themselves. There's a, um, it's a... It's a weird truth of the internet, and you'll you'll see it everywhere you look when you pay attention. The same with in public, like people who will start talking to you randomly because they genuinely do not understand that there is a group of people who would not like that. Um, it is it is confusing, um, and so yeah, I was just like uh, I, I felt like one of the weird things on that is like every every time there's like a big stream question, I'm like oh yeah, there's gonna be some people who get the, who ask that. But I like, also, thank God we finally got Fortune and we got it for cheaper. It was worth waiting for. Um, so yeah, one of the, one of the weird things about, um, one of the weird things about, uh, the streaming world is basically, uh, on YouTube in particular, you need to have a good title for people to find it. You, like, I'm competing right now with, uh, like, people's, uh, streams. So I'll, I'll do, like, the YouTube, YouTube, like, kind of title thumbnail. But unlike a YouTube title and thumbnail, we can't answer it, the question from the thumbnail in the first five seconds, because it's a it's a live stream. But there'll be people who jump in, they're like, Toy Cat, what is ultra hardcore? And it's like, I, I would love if there was some way to explain. You know, if only there was a description where that was written down. It would be so handy if there was. It's, it's such a such a missed opportunity for me not having a description where I explain exactly your question. Or indeed, uh, if you'd watch from the start, or do any anything like that, uh, and so I, I think sometimes when it's like, oh no, there's a there's a person asking the easy questions, um, but, it, but it only hurts because it's like someone that isn't that you do expect. But I, I guess that it's almost like a is this like a backhanded compliment? Is this making it better or worse? Be like, yeah, it's because of the fact that uh, in higher standards or something like that. Um, but yeah, with that said, we now have uh, because we killed the zombie villagers, they now give us better Fletcher trades, which is really good. It, it doesn't make a huge difference. But over time, this does actually add up. And so now we get a lot more emeralds and indeed a lot more experience, which is also very handy. So um, we could buy some stuff from them too. We do have a lot. We could buy a lot of bows. We could make a lot of dispensers if we wanted to. Um, could sell them string, could buy crossbows. I bet the crossbows are good experience too, actually. Yeah, I bet we get a lot of XP when we buy bows. And then we can store them in some chest somewhere. Let's just do it. Let's let's test this. Yeah, that was a, that wasn't enough XP to justify spending the emeralds, was it? So why is your name IBX Toy Cat? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, like um, it's the uh, I'm I'm sure every teacher explains this effect to people. Uh, but yeah, I I just want to make sure I'm never like being like, yeah, you're the worst. Um, because it's the same on the other end. Like if someone if someone doesn't like uh. If someone is, like, asking a lot of, like, that stuff, I'll try to, like, something to be like, oh, yeah, there's uh, places you can go. Um, I don't want it to be, like, you know, like, yeah, when someone doesn't get, like, the subtle hint, you have to give a more direct hint. I don't want it to be, like, oh, no, yeah, that's what I was doing there. It was just my, that's my autopilot default mode there. Also, um, buying things has uh, been easier than to work out the tech tree, for me, at least. Yeah, I, I think, um... The only reason we'll be not 
doing it is because we're, we're just gonna go mining. Actually, no, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go do some skulking. I've got a fully repaired diamond hoe here. I've got to go down there anyway for the eye offenders. And so let's let's go do that. By the way, thank you, Gerald K. You're playing on hard. You have 100% chance for a zombie to turn to a villager. Uh, that they attack, which you can cure for profits. If you lock their trades, you may keep them through this. Yeah, interestingly enough, it's um a lot of people do that. I think it's one of the dumb things about zombie curing. A lot of people deliberately harm their own zombie, uh, their own villagers. But it means people are encouraged to play on hard difficulty, specifically only so they can do this one thing, um, which is not ideal, if I have to say so. Um, like, people should ideally be making better long-term decisions. Also, by the way, I hope we don't starve to death. <laughs> Man, you actually expect us to look at the text description? Sounds like a lot of work. It's much easier to ask you over and over. That's the weird bit, right? I don't actually think that everyone has to read the description all the time. But it's like when you have that one person in your life that asks you a question, you know they that you they just they know you don't know the answer. It's like, so are you asking me because you don't know how goo like I know it's 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 one of the more insulting things, like to ask someone for something that you could very easily find yourself. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's insulting personally. Anyway, um, yeah, I uh, I think um, I I need to get myself a shield by the way, real soon. It's it's on the to do list. Don't worry, it's very high up on the to do list. It's gonna get done real soon. It's weird how that works sometimes, right? You're like, there's this important task. But I don't want to do it, and so I'm just not going to. Maybe I don't need a shield. Maybe I don't want a shield. Who's to say that I have to have one? Okay, so let's go down and let's get a whole bunch of stuff done. So, uh, took out this is a hardcore world. Eat, please. No, no, I'm, I'm saving the eating for if I take damage. It just makes sense, internet. It just makes sense. If you think it doesn't make sense, you're thinking with your non-hardcore brain. And I understand why your brain isn't hardcore. But just understand my brain is hardcore. <laughs> I guess we already got most of this over here. But there's some there's some bits over here we haven't got. And we know there aren't any Skulk Shriekers around here too, so it's, it's a good place to come. It's just e easy experience in my mind. Uh, we can do this all the way up to level 30. And then we can come back down and try and get some diamonds. Like, one set of diamonds with fortune on, and we're good for, like, life, right? Mine all of this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't have sprinting right now. If we summon the warden, we have to eat and run. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So that was smart. That was good. There was no problem with that. And anyone who thinks there is, you're just scared. <laughs> okay, that's, that's not ideal. Don't worry. I, uh... There's, uh... Definitely, definitely being worked on. So yeah, we're going to get the experience. Then we're going to finally enchant our pickaxe. And then whatever we get, if it's not fortune, we're going to put fortune on there. So there we go. Level 30 chat. We did it. Feeling good about that one. Um, I'm looking forward to my first fortune mining trip. I really am. I have to be honest with you. I never checked the description. The streams are always entertaining. And if you follow your channel, you can work out pretty quickly what you're doing, says Digging Troops. Yeah, I... I think, um, I, I try not to be annoyed on the level of like, yeah, you can't actually expect someone, like, and entertainment is one of the fields where you have to be expecting people to be lazy. And although, you know, I, I don't know if I get to call a Minecraft live stream entertainment, um, I do think there's an interesting truth that like, yeah, when you're relaxing, who am I to tell you to do something, uh, that you're not instinctively doing already? Uh, I would be, would be ridiculous of me. Would be insane. Um, and so instead, nope, won't won't tell you what to do, even if it's the, even if it's an easy way to answer your own questions. But then I also think it's not on me to answer your question. Like you know, like you go have to go for a lot of work to ask a question in chat. It's just also a more. You know, this is this is such a dumb discussion. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm done with it, chat. I'm done with it. Um, this is a. Uh, Anyway, so, 
Now that I'm level 30, I'm gonna roll the dice and hope for the best. Chat, please pray for me. What will I get? Unbreaking, oh yeah, but what else? Ooh, unbreaking pickaxe plus efficiency and silk touch. So I want fortune on there, which is actually a bad thing because now it gets a lot more expensive to put fortune on. Also, where is my anvil? I definitely had an anvil, right? Chat, did I have an anvil? I feel like I had one. Um, yeah, that that was weird. Okay, you know, I'm gonna quickly go make myself a shield. Need one of those. Maybe I've just got the iron to make an anvil. Yeah, it's probably it. So shield. Finally, put one of those on. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, we'll, we'll make the anvil from scratch, the boring way. Okay, so yeah, I think you had one. I remember having an anvil. So okay, there it is. It's over here. Okay, I see it now. Um, in the anvil goes this and fortune. Oh, you literally can't. What, chat? Why can't I? Why is that not an option? That's annoying. Why can't I put... But, I know that you can't have fortune and silk touch. I know, I know you can't, but it should overwrite it. It, that's usually how it works, right? You overwrite the silk touch. Glad I get to see you stream to a cat. But you... I know, I know you can't have Silk Touch and Fortune. Why can't I have one or the other? Okay, um, by the way, Renegade Killer B, you have activated the Wheel of Toy Cat. You do not, if you get the tip level where the text-to-speech happens, 10 United States dollars, uh, this one was even higher than that. You get a spin on the wheel, land on a yellow, and you get a sign like David Salabano and the other people in this world. Would you like to be permanently in the Minecraft world? Let's find out by spinning the wheel. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna land on a... Oh, 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 green, man. It's brutal. Um, so, okay, it's never allowed to overwrite the enchant. I'm sure it has, but I guess I'm crazy. That's okay, I'm allowed to be crazy. Um, aren't we all? By the way, 76 days, now complete. Um, so now we are going to have to think about this a bit. Um... I need a fortune pickaxe. Do I just make a fortune mending pickaxe? Or do I enchant this very loosely? Oh, I could get fortune on it, funnily enough. I could put unbreaking on it first and then put fortune on it, then put mending on it. Or I could go from breaking free. What do you reckon, chat? I. I don't actually know. We're not going to get many levels. My whole plan was to go mine some some stuff. I, I wasn't expecting for, uh, Silk Touch. So, like, you know, we'll just make it. We'll make an unbreaking pickaxe with, you know, we'll, we'll break. Okay, we'll break one of these down. Uh, it seems wasteful, but we'll do it. And then we'll just enchant the pickaxe from here. Unbreaking free. Fortune 2, okay, so it's Fortune 2, it's not Fortune 3. So we just make that little upgrade. Costs two levels. That's fine, that's acceptable. Then we add Mending onto that, right? So this becomes Fortune 3. Then we add Mending on, which we do have the book for. So now this is a mega pickaxe for getting experience. It's going to use a lot of the experience itself to heal the pickaxe back up. Um, unless I do other things first, but still, we, we, we're in the right place for this. And now we got two pickaxes. They're both gonna last forever, happily ever after. And then we just have to put the bookshelves back. So, six of those makes a bookshelf. Twelve of those makes two bookshelves. Easy peasy. Okay, so, when the fortune is two instead of three. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Then we're gonna eat two cooked beefs. <laughs> I, um, it's gonna get me just, just about through this. And then we're gonna go, um, chop down some trees for some sticks. I kinda should go for a better axe, but we, we don't need to go up right now. We, we're gonna get, we need to get level 30 again so we can enchant our this and that. And once we've got full, once we've got enchanted armor chat, we're gonna be going to the end. We're gonna see the end that has no end. It is exciting. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much, Relat, for becoming a channel member. The 405th, in fact. It is very nice to be seeing that number go up. I appreciate all the new joiners, by the way. 
I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. But, um, yeah, I, um, I, it, it is one of those very heartwarming things. The, the, one of the best ways to support any channel you care about on YouTube is a membership. And so it's so lovely to see people, uh, choosing to do that here. Like, it's, um, it's a cool old community. You can see the green name when someone comments it. You get the emojis. Um, but to me, I, 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 I like seeing, uh, all, all the names in the, you know, the exclusive member posts. And so it just, it just has a nice... Uh, it's a nice way to have a community. You know, the same way that I was saying, like, oh yeah, you recognize some some names sometimes, and you're like, oh yeah, this person, um, this is one of those people that, like, I, I you know, like, if, if they had a question, I would, I would genuinely believe that it was not something that could be easily answered by jumping in the description, or easily answered by common sense. It's like, oh, this is, uh, this is one that's actually worth going into. Hold on, we're going to the end already, says Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. Yeah, once I've enchanted, I think we're ready to go to the end. Because if we die in the end, what's the point in having all this stuff As before? As a game it? dev slash CS major, can't help but be curious. You got any needs for a dev? Anyways, spin the fuck high and genial. <laughs> that's not how you censor swearing, chat. Come on, Streamlabs. That's not. That's that. That's that. What? Okay, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was a that was a poor. Censorship. Um, anyway, uh, Ja, let's spin the wheel first. Are you gonna- uh, if you land on a yellow, you get to be in the ultra ultra hardcore world permanently. <gasps> oh, just went over it. Okay, I'll be honest with you here. What I really need, um, what I- what I really need more than anything else. Um, I- I always have, like, okay, everyone wants to be this and so it's a bad idea, but I- I would love to be both the ideas man, but also I feel like I can do marketing, right? I've got the, I've got the audience to, you know, to make, if, if, any, if something, if a product is good, I have the way to get it out to an audience. Um, and I, I, I mentioned this before and people are like, yeah, I could totally do that, but it takes like a lot of actually working to put it together. I wanna, I wanna make, uh, chess, but it's a real time strategy game. I think this is such a good idea. I think, you know, turn based strategy is great. A lot of people love it. Why are the pigs following me, by the way? Oh, they're not. They're just just—they're just curious. Um, I think chess is one of the greatest turn-based strategies of all time. And I love turn-based strategies. I've played so many over the years. Um, but what, what what I like more, what I think is more accessible, is um, I, I, I really, really, really like real-time, right? And so what if you can make chess, one of the best turn-based strategies out there, a real-time strategy game? Very good idea. So it's just a normal RTS. No, so here's the thing, right? You take you take a chessboard, and you say, yeah, you start with a base where the queen would normally be, or the king, I guess you could say, in either spot of the board. When your king is taken, the game is over. And then, like, you know, like, you summon, like, one pawn per, you know, like, a, yeah, it's, it's kind of got the MOBA element of, like, uh, you spawn one, ter one pawn per, you know, I'm going to give away all my trade secrets here, but, like, um, imagine that you spawn the various pieces, and so getting a bishop or a queen out there is, like, really expensive, you gotta like do some research and get some tech out there first. Um, whereas if you want to get just a pawn, those things are relatively cheap. And then imagine that just like how you need board position in regular chest, you've got to collect the strategic points. There are um, there are specific places that you can capture, and if you capture them and currently have them in your control, you get more points. You get more uh, you know resources which you can use to build your next chest pieces. You could. Um, You'd have little relics in the corner that represent like, yeah, this is, if you get, if you have, if you, if you capture this corner of the board, um, then you have the ability to build your special unit. Um, and then I think the other thing you should do, um, I, I think one of the biggest problems of chess is the design is symmetrical. The, both teams are exactly the same. I think you should have like different factions in chess. So I, I think I, again, I, if you if I was in charge of the chess federation, it would be a whole different game. But just have like multiple different classes in chess. So you could have a class where you sacrifice one of your your castles for a uh, for an extra horse. Also, finally, someone's figured out chess too. You know, I've worked out India free, and I've also worked out chess too. You know, if you need someone, um, if you need someone, I've got it covered. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, if you if you want to make if you want to make me chess the real time strategy, and you need you need the 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 game design and the and the marketing covered, uh, and indeed all I I can do a lot of that for you. But if you if you just need a job, I uh, I the, there's vacancies in the Minecraft marketplace team, but you gotta be able to like do Minecraft coding. It's like a very specific set of people who can do that. Um, 
Yeah, I, uh, literally Minecraft Legends, but sounds fun. <laughs> Minecraft Legends is a really solid idea for a real-time strategy, but they just kind of, like, weakened a bit too much to make it accessible. Um, you need uh, chest 2 to be on a hex-style grid. Squares are inefficient. Yeah, if you go on a hex-style grid, you could very easily... Um, in, in my opinion, you could very easily make it like a free player game too. And then you could have like... I imagine the chess decisions that have to be made when there's two players. You want to eliminate the weaker player. And you know, it's just... It's just it's, there's a lot of decision making to be done. So, um... You also need... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think um, hexagons are the best of guns. Exactly. Who doesn't agree with that? So, um... We've now picked up everything we basically can. Uh, we've got a lot of chopping done. And so now I will sell this to my zombie villagers, get a lot of experience to heal up this pickaxe, then use the pickaxe to get a lot of experience to get my uh, chest plate enchanted, to then be ready to go to the end. It's a lot of steps, but it makes sense. Um, Minecraft map making sounds fun, but I have no interest in coding. Um, yeah, the the that is the um, that's one of the hardest things. Is coding is a, a harder skill to pick up. It's like a brand new skill set you need. To, it's a skill set you need to have. And then you need to learn not any real programming language, but Minecraft command programming. <laughs> Which I think it might be JavaScript based. I'm not too sure. I think they scrapped the JavaScript coming into Minecraft. I generally don't know the programming language. Like if you, if you ask me how to do it, I'd say, God, if I know. Anyway, with that said, um, let's put away our saplings. Let's put away whatever that is. Let's put the paper away. Yeah, I, I picked up a lot of just stuff over time, huh? Paper goes away. So I can make a lot of books as soon as I get leather. An important thing to consider. And now let's go sell a lot of sticks to a lot of villagers. It is just about becoming nighttime, but I'll get some trades in today. Then some trades in tomorrow. So sticks, 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 sticks. Um, let's sell them all. So, 26 is just such a good value, by the way. Can't get over that. It's a nice, nice improvement. I want to make sure I don't use up the full 26 each day. So, just a couple of each of these would be just great. And now, let's go. Uh, you don't have a Let's Play coming this week, says Lego Show Togi. Uh, yeah, I was planning to skip one anyway, because I've been working on a lot of other big projects this week. Like the one item a day thing, and there's a few other things happening. Um, but yeah, the, the Let's Play is something I am always struggling with. I... Uh, it's It takes a lot of time, and then not a lot of people care, <laughs> is the uh, is the current problem, basically. And so I need to fix one of those two problems, and ideally, um, you know, like, fix both of them. But I would like to make something that people... Also, by the way, we've got fortune on this, so now if I break the this, look how many I get. I've gotten so many never warts. The farm is making itself. Okay, so now we trade more sticks. Easy peasy. So many sticks. So many sticks. Uh, even throw some on the ground. But trade, 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 we shall. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we're getting a lot of emeralds. But they're all going into... All, all the experience is going into my pickaxe right now. So that's something I'm going to need to work out. Like, do I want that? Or should I... I guess I've got to want it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. Okay, that's not fine. So we'll, we'll trade a view next. Just get through these. Because um, I, I want to see the best trades that we can have. So at the apprentice level... Okay, he's still doing nothing for me. He He's he's ran out of trades, but he doesn't even have any fun ones coming. So next up, this guy. Um, yeah, he's going he's gonna to have something fun soon. So sticks, 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 sticks. Oh, did I make something I shouldn't have made into sticks? I don't think so. Um... Trade, 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 and we went all the way to the max of him too. But yeah, I guess we, we need the next layer up to get to actually exciting. He is leveling up, if nothing else. So now you sticks all the way as well. There's a lot of emeralds that are coming out of this, but just, I guess one single piece of tool we're mending on is enough to take up all of your ambitions, which is, some, which is actually quite a uh, big deal to think about. Don't forget to put Protection 4 on your armor. Yeah, I'm not going to the end without Protection 4. I think dying in the end because I fall in the void, a 100% expectable outcome, right? But, uh, yeah, dying, and that that is that is true. 
But dying in the end because, um, I think there are silly ways that I could die in the end that I still am trying to avoid. So now we're going to move this man and his boat closer to the lectern. And we're going to build walls around him and then let him go free. We can make the walls out of bamboo, actually. That might be fun. But yeah, the plan is just to... Ke I, want, I want him to feel like he's a part of the animal farm. Like, he is... I, I don't want him to think that he's, like, a real human being or anything. That would disappoint me if he started to think that was true. So, free fences is all we can make right now. But free fences is all we need. So, we just put fence there. Oh, we could probably climb over if we're not careful. So, we'll put a fence, like, there... There and there. And then we, we, we need some more fences too, it seems. So what, what, what do you need for a fence these days? Like a whole six of those. Now I make three more. <clears throat> and that goes here, here, and there. And then we just kind of hope that the villager doesn't realize he can climb over. I think he'll realize. I think we have to might, we might have to dig him into a hole or something. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just we'll dig him into that hole there. So problem solved. Um... In the hole you go. But then you could climb up onto the sides and then climb from there up there. So now we have to... Yeah, I haven't thought this one through correctly. <laughs> we'll hope he doesn't work it out. And if he does, he has a way back in. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, su I'm sure he won't work it out. I'm sure he's very happy where he is. We just put a block above his head, I guess. That's the solution. Block goes there. Now he can't climb out. Problem solved. Okay, so now he's below the animal farm. The animals look down from below. <laughs> and we got a villager right here. Wonderful. Okay, so um, now the next thing. I I really do have to work out this pickaxe thing. Like, I can't not have experience for so long. But also, this was my whole experience plan. It feels like that's going to fall apart if I'm not careful. So we could... What do you reckon, chat? What do I do about my pickaxe? It's going to take so long to do this the way... Uh, to do this anyway, really. But, like, it's going to take it's going to take a while, is what I'm saying. So what do, what do I do about it? Do I just slowly accept that? Do I... I could trade with some... If I get some uh, village trading done. I mean, some cow trade. Yeah, we, we do some cow trading. Get some books in here. We might get something real nice done. Might be something. Because uh, we're at the point now where we've got 20 cows. We could just... Okay, so let's get this out. Look at this, by the way. Yeah, the, the pickaxe just hogs all of the experience points. How much experience does it take? <laughs> go for it. Go do mining. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go mining a bunch. We'll get a big mining trip in, and we'll see how that goes for us. Is it the only idea we have? No. Um, but yeah, I think if we're going to be mining with it anyway, XP farm... Yeah, I try. I think I think XP farms are a really fun. They're a personal choice if you want to sp uh, skip the experience part of Minecraft. But I think it does add something. The whole like having to get experience to to do stuff is like a valuable part of the game. Also, look at that. Whoa, it's healing so fast from this. Okay, that that might be a that might be a, like a little bit of a savior. It's being able to do this. Just every time we see. Never quartz. We go in here. Look how much better the pickaxe is looking already. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. So now we go to other parts of the world where we find never quartz. It'll probably be in a bunch of our tunnels. Like, we have a lot of tunnels. Oh, there's skeletons. My least favorite. We've got a bunch of these tunnels lying around. Inside some of them, we're just gonna find never quartz, right? It's just a normal, natural, expected state of being. I think. Okay, so let's go. Uh, and because we've got the efficiency, we can mine through them real fast too. So we'll be able to pick up a lot of experience in basically no time. We come into these little side caves. Some of these side caves will have it, I think. No, wow, this... Apparently it's harder to find never quartz than you think. That is the only thing I am learning today. So we'll come right back up here. Admit that's a lost cause. And then get out of here. I, um... Farming also gives experience, says uh, Peace Dragon. Yeah, I want, I'm, I'm going to do my uh, my farm every day, obviously. Still important. 
But I, I want to do a bunch of mining because I, I want the resources too. I think making things out of never quartz is nice. And making things in the end out of never quartz, especially so. Okay, so I'm just going to go on a mining trip while the ghast attacks me. That's A-OK -okay with me. This is the fastest way to get experience. And it is. I'm just willing to do it. Yeah, that's this this is this is the life. This is maybe the best spot to do it. I've got the gold on. And I've got my 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 experience up just to another level. It's going well for me. If I Okay, that's bad. If I keep mining this and then pick up the experience later, maybe. Oh ho. Okay, no, this is bad. This is bad chat. I kind of forgot that this was ultra, ultra hardcore. And it was going great while I wasn't taking damage. But you can't be forgetting that that's happening when you are taking damage. Because life is bad when you're taking damage. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's just get right out of here. Dodge that. And we're in. Ooh. Fishing gives you lots of experience. Yeah, honestly, fishing is always a good bet. Because the best bit about fishing is you'll fish for a rod, which will give you even more... Uh, which will fish for you faster to give you more experience. It's one of the best systems in the game. One of the more criminally underrated bits. They added it and it was basically nothing. But then it, it got really good at the end. So, yeah, my, my pickaxe is going to fully repair here. We're going to need another day if never mining, of course. But if we do a full day in these mines, we'll end up with so much never quartz that we can make something quite cool out of it too. I think that is one of the big benefits is like, Imagine, so we're going to have an, we've got an endless end, right? There is, there is nothing in our end dimension. We're building from scratch. Wouldn't it be cool to build from never quartz? It, it would be. You know, I'm going to, spoil a lot. It would be very cool. So we get enough never quartz that we can build something substantial. It would be really, really cool. Also, I, I thought it would be nighttime. Okay. Well, I, I was in there for way less time than I thought. So now we are going to do another. Quick little couple of breeding runs. Just want as many cows as possible to do the breeding. Apparently we already bred most of the cows. Then we're gonna break some of these. Making sure to replant, of course, except we've got a full inventory. So that's not working. The Neverwart will grow to the correct size. And then finally, we're gonna put a sticky piston and a thing. Some, somewhere over here. I guess just somewhere that it's accessible by a villager. Like right there. Put one of these next to it. And now I can now I can get another trader for that whole system. Wonderful. I love Never Quartz. I build a lot with it. It's so expensive to build with though. Like, like I don't even have enough for a stack of Never Quartz. And I've mined a ridiculous number of it over the lifetime of this world, right? Um, it is expensive. There is no way around that. So this is where I'm going to store the last eye offender, which we'll be using when we need to go do that. We'll put the dirt in its relevant chest. And we'll go to sleep on our 77th day of survival. It's going well, by the way. I'm liking it. Whew. Um, okay, so now we are going to do another breeding run on the cows. They only breed every minute. But, and the minute only counts when you're around them, apparently. Um, but yeah, let's use this. We don't really need to pick up the experience on the pickaxe, but every little helps, right? Uh, also, I should probably get the, sh the, the horse out there. I think at this point, the horses are probably a detriment. <laughs> but whatever, let's let's go for a long day of mining never quartz today. It's going to be a big day of mining, and it's going to result in a lot of good things. So just all of this into that, so we can make sticks. So we can sell the sticks. Uh, we'll do the same with the birch, actually. Just all into sticks. We should have a painful number of sticks right now. And we're going to trade a painful number of sticks with villagers. What are you going to offer me? None? Oh, I think the right... The villagers that are... are um, the villagers that are discounted aren't using the fletching tables. Yeah, I need to fix that. Um, so I need to give them more fletching tables in there. So they can get jobs. That's prob that's hopefully easy to fix. It's not definitely easy to fix though. Where do you think I put flint? Okay, so one, two, three, four. We are going to make more. Okay, so four fletching table or two fletching tables. 
Let's go. And we'll put them inside here. And just kind of hope that they link to our existing villagers and not new ones. So we have no idea if that's worked until it's too late. For now though, let's just trade the sticks in. This guy is about to be a new level, so he's, he's my guy. I am trading with him for that reason and that reason alone. Okay, now let's go... Oh, look, yeah, new, new Fletcher. I don't like that that's how that works, but apparently it is. I get plenty of quartz from piglin trading and uh, masons. I, I guess that's true. Yeah, if you if you get enough, if you do enough piglin trading in general, but then you have to do a lot of mining for gold. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I I do like it's a different way of doing it. You know, it's 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 fun in that way. I don't know that it's actually filling in the gap though. Um, I think I have so much never quartz because I mined a lot in the never. Says Tyler Kavaskas. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I always say it's one of the go-to just, like, easy sources of, um, stuff like this. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna eat the Suspicious Stew chat until I have three and a half hunger bars so I can eat a second Suspicious Stew immediately after it. It seems silly, but trust me when I say that it probably isn't. Um, okay, today, day 77 is all about getting experience. Specifically so I can enchant my chest plate. Because having a protection for chest plate will make a huge difference to everything in this world from here on out. Um, I think I think in general if you're playing in a world where you're worried about damage. Or where because you have to be or not. That is terrible. This is I was going to be at full health. But the, the gas messed me up. Um, in a way I should have been expecting but wasn't. Okay. Good news is, the hunger situation- Oh god, why are you like this ghast? Oh god, don't do this to me again. Okay, we have to eat, and we have to eat again. Very quickly, it's fine. I can do that. I can do that wonderfully. Um, no, I didn't do it. Okay, go in, and then where's where's the Oxide Daisy? There it is. Ooh. Okay, so then a second bowl of Suspicious Stew right now. And it doesn't solve all my problems, but it solves some of them. Okay, let's go. Experience time. That's mine. Okay, so if you look at the amount of experience we get for each of these, and the fact that we can mine so many of them so quickly, Never Quartz becomes a very, very viable way to pick up experience. But then also is going to allow me to do cool things in the in the Never in the end later. So it's uh, it's it's a, it's a it's a good thing that provides for a good thing. It's like when you donate to charity and they give you a free muffin. You're like, wow, I was going to donate to charity anyway. And I was also going to buy a muffin anyway. But now I've killed two birds of one stone. Uh, and, uh, you know, like, it, even if it wasn't a killing birds charity, I would still have achieved that. Okay, so let's get down. Easy peasy. Ooh, okay, so there are a lot of blocks lying around. Let's try and... Okay. I don't want to deal with a ghast the way that I am right now. Also, that piglin has a crossbow. I think we should kill him. There is- Oh, no! I- I don't understand gas fireballs. I always think I've avoided them. But, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just drink a regen potion. We're so far gone at this point, and I need to do dangerous never stuff. Right? I need to. Um, I like the quartz pillar blocks. Yeah, also maybe it gold for gold apples too. Yeah, I was thinking like, do I even need the gold? I think the answer is yeah, I do. Um, so we'll run out of here. And kind of run back in. So I'm not going up there. That seems like a, something you do with a death wish. But instead, I'm going to drink a regen. Uh, imagine killing two birds of one stone by donating to Peter specifically. <laughs> Um, okay, we're back. Everything's good. Let's mine a bunch of gold. Um, we're going to upset a lot of piglins if we do that, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat, drink, regen the moment stuff gets spicy. It's kind of crazy to wait till things get spicy to do it. It's an easily regrettable decision. Um, but it's something I'm going to do anyway. Because I want to get max value out of these potions. Because once they're gone, they're going to be a little bit harder to remake, in my opinion. And so we get the best out of them that we can right now. Um, we're very, very close to finally done on the... Okay, so 
mine all of these two. You don't get as much experience, but yeah, we're going to get so many, so many pieces of gold from this. Um, the experience is just a nice little second thing. The Silk Touch pickaxe is actually, funnily enough, better for mining these. Um, so we could be using that too. Um, the Silk, I think, I think Silk Touch is quite a bit better. But I do want the instantaneous experience. I think it's better from mining than you do get from a furnace. Does anyone know, chat? What do you get more XP from? Is it mining um, nether gold or is it from smelting nether gold? Because, um, you know, the gold gold is one of the considerations. But perhaps the more important one is the this. Also, I think I heard a piglin being mad at me. Yep, I did. That's fine, though. That's fine. So mine some more over here. So much never gold. Honestly, maybe just for keeping the stacks together, this is a it's a good idea to do that. Because now I'm gonna have to like craft it together anyway. Just to stop it cluttering my entire inventory. So 27 gold ingots. That is a lot of gold from the nether. And it's just gonna keep on going up too. There is a lot more to be obtained. Um But yeah, I um I think it's probably best to get the most gold for apples. Mining gives more XP, but Silk Touch gives you more gold. Yeah, I, I'm i going to get a lot of gold either way. More than I need for the golden apples that I'm going to be making. Uh, maybe I could go more like... I could get like a lot, lot of gold apples though if I do it. So let's just confirm. I'm at 35 gold now. I mine this. And I'm at 45. So I got 7. No, I got 10. 35 to 45 is 10. So Silk Touch... I think on average, Silk Touch does better, but I guess sometimes Fortune does better. Unexpected. Yeah, if it's that close, I'm not going to bother. I thought it'd be like I'd get seven or eight each time on, at, at best, but yeah, certainly that is that is good. Okay, we, we will, no matter what it takes, get this pickaxe. There we go. It's, it's a fully recovered pickaxe now. The XP is finally going to me. Just what I would like to see. Uh, mine these ones. Oh, so many of them. Uh, Gapples, please regen. Yeah, that is something for me to consider. Um, oh, yeah, run away from the lava snake. At this point, if I'm going to get so many golden apples anyway... Then maybe I should just not be taking this big risk. Actually, I can make a golden apple right now. I can... Yeah, look at that. I've got enough gold just to make golden apples from what I have. That is satisfying. I'm going to make all five at the same time, though. I just need one more piece of gold. So it's going to make a little stack up. Oh, then we don't have to stack up. We can go down here. Now we have enough gold to make five golden apples. Which actually frees up my inventory so I can do more mining. But yeah, look at, look at the speed that we're picking up XP. Having an efficiency pickaxe is very efficient. What can I say? Don't mind the nether. If it's orange and glowy, it's too hot. Life pro tip. If it's orange and glowy, it's too hot. It's the rule I apply for the oven. Uh, and then we're going to turn these quartz into just blocks of quartz. Because I've got too many sitting around on me. Now we are going to get back out of here. This was a very successful little miniature place. Um, I think the the gold for trading would be good. But golden, gold for apples is just much better right now. And we're going to need five golden apples at some point. So getting it done now seems like it makes sense. I very much want to avoid ghasts, but the the ghasts are an inevitable part of this biome. Yeah, let's just, let's just mine the... Let's just mine gold as our primary focus, even. We'll pick up much less XP, but we will save our life. Which we need to do, given the amount we're risking our life, to get the gold. <laughs> just makes sense to me. Um, thank god you have gapples now. I'm feeling a tiny bit less anxious. Yeah, I feel I feel so much better knowing that, like, if something bad happens with the regen potion, I still have the golden apples to, like, hurry me through, keep me going until the next thing. In fact, I'll put them, I'll put them out down here. Just as that secondary reminder that I'm gonna be fine. Um, I don't want, like, scarcity brain to kick in and make me not save my own life. I want me to know that, like, if there's even something remotely scary, I don't have to deal with it. I can just... I can I can be fine, and I can keep my stuff. So we're gonna... Stay safe from that. Oh, God. I hate that. I hate the ghast. Keep away from me. 
We're going to mine through here. Get it all in. Lots and lots and lots. Okay, I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Okay, chat, it's happened. Oh, it lagged. It happened. I, I was just too unaware of what would happen with the ghast. Sometimes I've gone in a hole and they haven't, they haven't seen that I got in the hole. So they just attack anyway. I, I, I don't know what was going to happen. I had to do it for my own safety. Um, certainly not for your sanity though, chat. Sorry. Hate to tell you. Um, your sanity was not a considering factor. Okay, let's go. We are at level 24. We've been here for a while. But it's it's going just fine. And um, we'll let that all go down to the ground just to save myself a bit of hassle. Whoa! Just been a guy chilling and staring from behind. Now we'll go up there because that looks like a decent amount of quartz too. So just have to bridge this gap. Nice and easy to do. And we'll come right back up around for the gold. There's so much gold. It's it's really is crazy to me how much gold you can get once you get fortune. An enchanted pickaxe makes such a difference to your mining yields in the Never, both for the Never quartz, but also for the gold. Like I, I could have mined for like forever and ended up with one third as much gold. But just by putting a little bit of fortune on there, or indeed silk touch, they both work great in the Never. We have made a substantial improvement. Okay, so we are not coming back to the Soul Sand Valley. Not a consideration. Um, we'll be picking up all of this and getting out of there. Okay. And we're going to finish the gas. Perfect. Um, I will not be rushed on my mining trip, but yeah, I think we're probably good for today. The next mining trip we'll do underground. This is a good enough quartz that I can make like a fun rim. I can I'll maybe have to mix it with other blocks. Oh, actually, we didn't get this. We're right here anyway. We already put the blocks up. Let's just finish it off. Pick up the XP. Actually, is the XP dropping to the ground? Do I have to go? Yeah, it is. You have to go all the way down there just to pick it up. But also all of this lovely, lovely quartz. Look how much we have now. We have, okay, block of quartz. That's all I want. We now have over 100 blocks of quartz. Okay, I'm going to mine this, even though there's piglins here that won't like it. Okay, they're going to be very distracted by it. Oh, they just picked it all up. I thought, they had to, I thought they picked it up one by one and examined it. And I was like, tactically, I'd rather lose some and get the rest. But no, that went badly, objectively. Um, so get these last few blocks. Just while the piglins are chasing me, right? Just go for it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting this is going badly. No 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 Um so I'm gonna have to mine inside here really quickly. Um Okay. Chat, everything is fine. Ooh Um So that is bad, I would say. But it's entirely salvageable. Um We're gonna drink a mushroom stew. Just a regular one. Uh and we're going to mine back to our previous tunnel. Mine some never quartz along the way, of course. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a bad set of circumstances. I think, I think I'm going to save the golden apple, though. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go and I'm going to be fine, chat. I'm going to be very fine. So we should have to get across this. Oh, okay. So the the the, ne the 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 nev rack is fine. That's the important thing to keep in mind here. And we're just gonna jump across this and in through here. Just they're not in the tunnel yet. I don't know what's happening with all this nev rack, but it's concerning to me. We're just below the tunnel. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Ooh. Okay. Nothing like a good bit of heart rate increasing. Keep you going through the evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scarcity mindset will kill you, said Xavier. Yeah, I, I think that that going for those gold was not smart, given that I didn't have food, and I only didn't have food because I don't have oxide daisies, and that is something that I can deal with. Hey, that was quick reaction time, though, says James Weston. Yeah, I'd like to believe I am at least improving with my dealing with mobs under pressure skills. It is something I am getting better at. Um, so that was great. Everything was wonderful. There are no issues. 
thank you for thank you for your time. Okay, in and out we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, breed a lot more oxide daisies. Um, breed a lot more? Yeah, we're gonna breed them together. We're gonna bone mill some oxide daisies. We need a lot of those. And um, yeah, we're gonna sleep in this guy's house. Sorry, I know, I know it's I know you can't you can't even escape, but it's important that I come in here. Because that's what this is all about. Okay, so today we put away a de so uh, by the way, we're gonna we, we're gonna make a lot of food, don't worry. But yeah, I just want to quickly say the the mining trip was still a success. We have 48 blocks of quartz. Oh sorry, we have over hundred blocks of quartz. In addition to the stack or so we have here, we could do some cool things of quartz in the end. I don't know how many things. We might be able to build like a fake never in there, honestly. One skeleton and you're dead. Ah, nah. We, we, we're doing great. So, um, we have this many spare gold blocks, which is very good. That that, that brings me up to a, a very healthy number. I have five golden apples and enough gold nuggets to do some stuff with. Um, for now, let's put this away in there. And the ghast here is going to have to go in like a special potion brewing chest or something. Um... Now we can make a brewing stand, and I think we can go take down the ocean monument. I think that'd be fun. Uh, obviously, we're gonna wait till we're healed up, but I think uh, as a little as a little treat for my my successful mining trip, I think we're gonna do a uh, a mining trip chat. I mean, I think we're gonna do an ocean monument trip. Sorry, as a as a treat for the mining trip, you know what we're getting? More mining. That's what we're gonna get. So, mine all of these. Do it again. You know, we'll just do it again. Um, I want to get, I'm just going to get a whole stack of Oxide Daisies. I I kind of have been like half doing it each time, but I need a lot of Suspicious Stew. It's a very handy food to have. It's the most accessible form of healing. So let's just get a ton of it. Um, quick question, why? I want some sponges. I, I think it would be real fun. Uh, to have the, oh, the, the, the the trim that you get as well. And if we get the gold blocks as well, that would be even better, wouldn't it? So we kill three out, we're gonna have to kill three out of guardians. I'll admit, sounds hard. In fact, I think I might need to get like a to a turtle farm going if I want to do that, get some scutes. So, um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think, I think that's a fun thing I've got to do. So cat to the children who yearn for the mines. <laughs> uh, ve very fun reference. Appreciate it, Dasha. Um, okay, so I'm going to drink one suspicious stew. But now I'm out of red mushrooms. So I need to go back and get more of those. But for now, we've, we've done our job with regards to this. We're going to grow a lot of oxide daisies just so it's clear. They're all around here. So many oxide daisies. Then we're going to do a fortune mine run of this. Just take out the biggest ones. Nice and good. Gonna have so many never walls. Don't even know what I'm gonna do with them at some point. And then, um, now it's important. Also, by the way, so much XP sitting around here. Now it is important to work out. I guess we need to get our, our health back first. I don't want to craft too many golden apples. Like, I don't want golden apples to be my only source of healing. Which means, yeah, having potions of regen, it's going to come in handy. So we'll get one of those out. Just replace the ones we've lost. We'll get a second one out. Because you never know when you're going to lose another, another one. And then, yeah, looking at my current trims. I've got three eyes. I've got a ward. Be nice to have some other, other sets on there too, wouldn't it? Oh, wait. I can never trim my leggings. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't trim my leggings. That's a real bummer. So I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a smithing table, just because of the fact. Uh, okay, we, we'll make a smithing table. It might be good for like getting some, you know, we we might be able to get some armor, you know, maybe pre-enchanted diamond. But just I wanna I wanna have some villager doing that. But also it means that my chest plate I can put the trim on. There is no additional cost in terms of. Um, there's no additional cost for the chest plate, but it'll make me look a little bit cooler. So, what should we put on our chest plate, chat? I like redstone as an idea. We do copper. 
I'll try I'll try pre out. I'll get copper, I'll get emeralds, I'll get redstone. Uh, we'll go with whatever looks best out of those. Oh, one sec. Um, yeah, we'll go over. Uh, found the silence room first, just I open. Can't find never what. <laughs> the RNG is punishing you for your your good luck. Diamond on diamond. Man, also quartz. Okay, you know I'll grab some quartz as well. Quartz is maybe a good idea. Amethyst is also compelling though. Um, I'm just gonna go have stuff that we have, and we're gonna try every single version of this with the eye armor trim. We'll try ward as well. No, well, I've only got one ward, so I have to like multiply it before using it. Um, so this in there, that in there, and ooh, copper looks good. Quartz looks better. Emerald, I think quartz is better. Redstone, I like distinctly, but it's like a bit too out there for most people. So quartz it is. Nice. Uh, little little eye armor trim on there. Um, what do you reckon, chat? Do you like my new armor trim? I think it looks great, personally. Um, as fun as I think it is to put a diamond trim on diamond, we shall not be doing it. It's okay, you need a blast furnace from armor. Smithing table will get you tools. You're right, my bad. I'm going to have to make a blast furnace. Um, I can make it inside my house. But I don't like villagers coming in and out of my house. I think that's like, you know, like they're kind of like outside people. I'm an inside person. So... No, yeah, I'm not gonna make a blast furnace. So I, I, I guess I'm, I'm I'll, I'll get a weapons. I'll get a toolsmith because it would be nice to trade for diamond tools, especially while we still can. But it's not my number one priority. My number one priority should be getting a bunch of brown mushrooms and red mushrooms. Should we just go back to the Never if we want those? It might make sense, right? Let's also make another one of my priorities: making purple stained glass. We need to pick up the other two. Yep, we can now make. More purple stained glass. And then we're going to take our fortune pickaxe down to the amethyst mine. And we're going to get a lot of amethysts. Because the budding amethyst must be growing so much. Because every time I go to my portal, I bet it's growing. There's a chance that it hasn't grown a single bit since I was last in there. But let's, uh, let's hope that's not true. Also, yeah, we'll find mushroom soon. Should we just bring a mushroom back? Wait, we have a mushroom. We have a mushroom. Um, wait, yeah, we just, that's regular mushroom though. Also plant your cherry trees just because you can. Yeah, I actually, I, I need some, uh, cherry wood, so I, I'm gonna plant it specifically for the benefit of, uh, make it, fin finishing up my wall. If I'm over here trying to do it anyway. So we'll grow this just outside the walls over here. Or just outside what's about to be the walls. Where the villager beds are. You know, the villagers can live in a beautiful cherry and bamboo grove here. And, um, yeah, getting red mushrooms. I guess if I kept one around, I could at least grow it, bone mill it a bunch. Without that, we're just going to run in there and hope for the best. And that's the plan. Um, do you mean you don't invite everyone you meet inside your home? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. There's a very specific group of people that I allow inside my home. Um, there's, I, I would prefer, one of the weird things about the world uh, especially like the pre-internet world. It's just there'd be a phone book, right? And like everyone's addresses are in there. And it's like, yeah, this is the efficient way to do things. And it's like may maybe only people that we specifically invite should know where we live. Maybe that's maybe that's actually the better system. You know, call me crate call me old fashioned if you must. Um but yeah, we're gonna mine a lot of copper. It will give us some good exp XP, I think. Um, and then maybe we can make copper blocks of it. I don't even... Honestly, once you get fortune, the world is your oyster. There's just so much so much of everything that becomes yours. Okay, crouch. Uh, he missed. He missed. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> That's fine. We're, we're doing great, chat. Um, besides this specific way... In which things are going questionably. Everything is fine. Also, there is no way anything in this whole place grew. I bet I'm going to go down there and there's not a single bit of growth. Also, the, the noises are so loud. Can we all agree on that, chat? It's it's a bit of, bit of a problem, if you ask me. Okay, so mine this copper. Oh, so much of you. It's just, just It's everywhere. Um, <laughs> and then get down here. And as definitely not predicted, there is basically no growth. So we can mine this crystal, and then we get enough amethyst to, like, 
make a few more blocks. But we're basically gonna have to go raid a whole new place if we want some. So let's emotionally be ready for that. Uh, we have to hold, find a whole new one of these. Which isn't impossible, it's just not very easy. We'll mine the rest of these very easily available blocks. So that one too, obviously. Um, I think up there, there's still one that's easy to mine. And then that is now... So, yeah, I don't think there was any point in leaving anything here. Because, like, I'm never going to come back now. Now that I know that it's not growing unless I'm specifically sitting next to it. What even is the point? That is my question. If you know the answer. Also, good evening, says Harrison Gray. Good to see you, Harrison. How are you doing? I, um... I've, had, I've come a little bit close to death once or twice today. Um... Some would say I'm close to death right now. Um, some would make that argument. I would say wrongly so, of course. Also, uh, copper vein. I don't even know if it's copper vein. I think it genuinely is just copper spawns in such large quantities sometimes. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going pretty well otherwise. Besides the death, uh, everything is very wonderful in my world. Just look at how much you get when you've got fortune. There's just, there's just stacks of coal appearing in my inventory. <laughs> And so now we will use those stacks of coal to make stacks of copper. Stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks. By the way, look at this. I think you're fine today. We have officially survived into another one. Um, so yeah, I was hoping to get the end. You know, like maybe open the portal today. Uh, get the get get the enchantment done today at least. But we're running close to our 80 days chat. Um, yeah, um, they get, get, we're getting real, real, real close. Okay, tw tw we got one Minecraft day. Let's make it count. First things first, we are going to clear out the inventory and throw some stuff in a furnace. I need to get my, my healing up there. Don't get me wrong. I know that's very important. So we're going to, okay, we, we need to deal with this soon, but throw some copper in, throw some copper in, throw some coal in. Throw some coal in. Now, now the furnaces are fully fed for as long as they can be. This one just needs to have its stuff. This one needs to have its uh, cooked beef come out. And there we go. We've got we've got an experience machine on its way. We've got more copper that needs to be dealt with. Um, and so it, it will be. But eventually. Then we've got... Um, then we've got a messy inventory. That can be also dealt with. Every time we get a bow, we put it in the bow chest. Um, then we've got to deal with our food crisis. We have 64 oxide daisies, 14 brown mushrooms, no red mushrooms, meaning I will die. Uh, which is not what I would say is ideal. So we use our brown, our dark oak boat, and we just go out to the mushroom island, bring some mushrooms back. We don't even need to do that anymore. We're just going to go out there, and then we're going to, um, once we, once we get out there, we'll just get as many, as many mushrooms as it takes. We go through so many bowls, but it's important. I um, try Amethyst on some armor, please. I would just like to see what it looks like, says Lemon Shark. You know, that's a, that, that is a fun point that a lot of people probably haven't seen. Amethyst no. coated armor. It is one of the resources that isn't in a lot of people's like instinctive how do you play Minecraft uh, kind of guides. Also, congrats on passing day 69 without death. Also, we didn't up the day counter. Um, I, um, I think. Anyway, so... Welcome to day 80. This is a big one for a lot of reasons. But, um, yeah, I want to ride off the cliff, but I know we can't do that on bedrock just yet. Should we do it anyway? Should we? Okay, chat. Look at this. Look at this. Whee! Thank God that I didn't die. <laughs> okay, so my mushroom strategy right now is still go to this biome every time I need them. And it's not the ideal, don't get me wrong. Um... I would like to do better, we just can't. Also, I can't focus on anything on the screen, only the bars. They are screaming, says Maximiliano Marias. Don't worry, the bars will fix themselves very soon. We're going to get ourselves up to six. Six whole hearts. It'll be great. Mm. I believe he's actually on day 83, says Mark Barger. Yeah, if you measure Minecraft days as being 10 minutes, which is how, like, every YouTube series does it, we're on, like, day 90-something. Um, there's a lot of days that we've spent a lot of the night in the nether, because we just haven't been able to sleep, because there's no beds there. 
But, um, yeah, otherwise it's been just great. One trident drowned and you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, okay, so now I just need to pick up some mushrooms and then immediately start turning them into whatever it needs to be. I am, it's a bad situation, you might say, but it's something I'm about to make better anyway. Actually, you know what? Let's shear some iron bring iron. I could shear some mushrooms to just get the red from them. Maybe that's the point of the place anyway. You, you meant to shear the, the mushrooms as your source of red. Instead, we'll just be demolishing these. And as we pick up red mushrooms, we'll use them to make bowls of soup, which we'll of course be putting oxide daisies into. So we drink one now, then immediately load up another one, get that ready to go. And as soon as the four hearts are in there, next set, let's do it. And then as soon as that's in there, Next set, let's go. This is the handy thing about being hungry. You can very easily turn your hunger into health using mushroom stew. Getting free hearts is incredible. Um, you know, with uh, in, in that fast time compared to what we've been doing for most of this so far. Anyway, back to pummeling red mushrooms. Absolutely destroy this thing. I guess using fortune would be ideal, right? If we use our fortune pickaxe, we might end up with a lot more. Also, is that a ruin portal, or am I imagining it? I'm imagining it. It's fine. He's hungry for mushroom stew. Honestly, mushroom stew so sounds so unappetizing in real life. I do have to say, I'm I'm glad it is just a a Minecraft thing. Suspicious stew sounds even less appetizing. It's like, yeah, don't worry, I put some flour in there. Wink, wink. You're like, did you drug me, sir? Is that is that what you're hinting at? You're like, no, I just put a flour in there, and it will give you a suspicious effect. Wink, wink. And it's like, I I don't know that I'd like to be eating at this establishment anymore. Um, that's 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 the real truth of it. I wish the soup, soup stacked. I think soups and... Um, I think soups not stacking is one of the weirdest bits about Minecraft. Like, I do understand on one level, like, yeah, there are some things that don't stack in Minecraft. You can't have 64 axes. But the fact that only some foods don't just always feels weird to me. Also... It, we didn't get many brown mushrooms for that. Wasn't that worth doing, clearly. Okay, red mushroom time. All the way up to a full stack is what we want. Just so many mushrooms, we never have to worry about mushrooms again. That's the goal. Then put another oxide daisy in. And so now we just go around picking up brown mushrooms for the end of time. So there's plenty of these lying around. It's a much easier problem to solve. Boom. Okay, so good news, chat. I have now got suspicious sa suspicious stew sorted till the end of time. I will, it, with a full stack of all three ingredients. Like, how long will it take me to drink 64 bowls of suspicious stew? I hope a very, very long time. Um, why do eggs stack to 16? You know what? Thank you, Hexatarant. Thank you. I, someone needs to ask this question. I, um, if, if someone puts me in an interview of a Mojang developer, that's question number one. Just why 16? What? Why? This is going to be a good good explanation. I um, I had a Minecraft developer on for the Tales and Trails thing. It was like to promote the update. And I had a few questions for him and he's like, ah, I cannot say, unfortunately. I was like, that's no fun. Um, drink a lot of dubious stew. Um, there's now sus three suspicious items in Minecraft. It's, getting, it's suspicious just how many suspicious items Minecraft is adding. Are they trying to tell us something important? It sure seems like they are, right? It sure seems like they are. Okay, so now uh, we're going to go back to the village and we're going to work on protecting it. I really love this, by the way. This this is such a beautiful view we get here. It looks like it's an island with like a big stone wall around it. It's not an island, but it looks like one, doesn't it? It's got a... It's a real nice view. Also, bucket 16 too. Why do arrows stack 16? Um, glitz, glitz in the car. Get in the car. Just realize that's your name right now. Arrows stack to 64. Maybe it's um, maybe it's certain types of arrows that are 16, like certain uh, tipped arrows. <laughs> throwable items stack to 16 max. But then, why do throwable items stack to 16, but arrows stack to 64? I just don't get it. 
I just do not get it. Also, your mum looks like an island with a big stone wall around it, says Jake. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, she does. That is an exact description of my mother. Um, I cannot believe uh, that you know exactly what she looks like because you really, you really do. You've, you, you've nailed it to a T, I think, there. Anyway, um, oh no, that was potentially dangerous. So, I, um, I think the, the, the weird one, yeah, is that, like, Ender Pearls stack to 16, and then an Eye Offender stacks to 64. What is it that you do to the Ender Pearl to make it stack so much higher? It doesn't even affect most players, so it's not even like it's a design decision. There is some official reason, and I, I just do not know, and Minecraft won't tell me, and I'd love, I'd love for them to. We can make so many torches, by the way. Like, so, so, so many. Do you want to... What, what should we do with all these torches we can now make? Should we, should we just... Should we just cover everywhere in torches? What, what do we even do? Um, suspicious Villager only sells you Suspicious Stew. He has an evil mustache. <laughs> I would love a Suspicious Villager. He sells weird items only. Um, I, I, I would... I, I guess that's what bartering is, really. Like, uh... The suspicious villager is the piglin. He's like, yeah, don't worry, bro. One gold, and I'll give you the best item you've ever seen. And then you give it to him, and he's like, yeah, best item you've ever seen is four pieces of string. And it's like, I was kind of hoping for a bit more. Oh, give me another gold, and I'll give you the actual best item then. You're like, this feels like you're going to keep doing this. But he's like, no, 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 no. I, I swear, this time, you're going to get the best thing you've ever seen. And so you trust him. You put, you, you're wrongfully so... You believe that maybe, just maybe, he's telling the truth. But then he comes back to you. And surprise, surprise, um, he was not telling the truth. Uh, okay, so put that up there. Then put this over here. One, two, three. It's such a nice sound, by the way. It's such a nice sound. Um, yeah, today I think we've done a really good job of securing our food source for the future. Um, we're also very, very, very close in on getting our... I, I'm pretty pleased of how close in we are to getting... Um, like if, you, if you look at it, we're, we're pretty close in to getting an enchanted chest plate and trimmed. Enchanted and trimmed. But the biggest challenge for next time is going to be that endless end. I'm finally... I am... I'm just... I'm next to ready to go there. Um, I have plans for what I want to terraform it into, so I'm going to bring quartz with me. But can I defeat the ender dragon in an end with no end chat? That is the question we'll be discovering on the on the next episode, which will be 100 days of Ultra Hardcore with no end. It'll be a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you there. Consider subscribing to see more of it. And uh, yeah, it'll probably be this weekend. I'll be doing one more stream before this weekend, which will be a uh, you know like a fun uh, challenge map, I think, of some form. But uh, this weekend, you'll be able to see the 100 days live. And then tomorrow, of course, We'll be going into the mob vote. Uh, the final mob. Is it a penguin? Is it whatever it is? We'll find out. It's going to be fun. But for now, thank you for watching. I have survived 80 days in ultra hardcore Minecraft. Uh, check out the previous episodes if you haven't already. Because I'll see you next time.